she's a drama kid. Here you go. Oh, I love my tambour, the arts festival. Oh, nah. Anyone want a coupon for Barefoot Life? No, but I just saw Easy A, and that makes me wonder what you're doing in your spare time. Have you seen that movie? Yes, a long time ago, though. I just watched it on TV. Oh, okay. Where'd you get that coupon, Mikey? You know what else I have? Yay! You do work with kids. Oh, I like your cell phone. I stole it from one of the other graphic kids' teachers. They took theirs off. Did you see mine and Jen's? So, we got about two... We're gonna do two more spots and then we'll. They took it off. We'll come in. So, so I was like, the whole spot, kill bar were yours. Have another minute spot. <laughs> <laughs> I have pop and rocks. So if we Look, all I keep all, all my Smith Center tickets in my purse. So I keep my whole season subscription to the Smith Center in my purse. <laughs> I just haven't taken them out yet. All right, so that's our minute. So this is gonna start when I'm ready. I'm not gonna be able to do that. <laughs> Remember Eric's problem? He Which one? Uh, one of his many problems. But no, the last time I was on, and I think Memes was, no, Memes texted me and said, there's a lot of weird sounds and static and feedback, and it was because of Eric's hat. And it kept having to be oh, Eric. Where is Eric tonight? You guys ready? Yeah, oh yeah. I don't know where Eric is. Here we go. I'm not smart enough for this. Hey, how are you today? Eric is on assignment, uh, so it's me running the helm, welcoming back Carrie Ann Yay! and a few other lovely ladies. It's Curtain Call with Eric Ball. All right, uh, ladies, welcome. Uh, like I said, uh, Eric is uh, off on assignment in Never Never Land. Uh, he is oh. getting everything. <laughs> that was like a fantastic <laughs> harmony. Uh, welcome back, Carrie Ann, who Hi. has uh, been on hiatus for a little while. Yes. Uh, we miss seeing you uh, in here, and uh, Eric is still going to miss seeing you in here. Yes, but, uh, I'm kind of bummed that he's not here. Oh, he's man. here in spirit uh, because, well, um, that's what he does. Uh, yes, I can feel him. And, and then also uh, joining <laughs> us today... Uh, one of our guest hosts, uh, the lovely Liz Matthews. How are you, Liz? Hey, people. Hey. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, and, and then uh, our first guest this evening, uh, it's, it's uh, as Carrie Ann put it, and I stole it, very Estro Glenn heavy today. Yeah. Uh, because uh, for the first half, we've got the lovely Mikey Phillips. Say hello, hello Mikey. Yeah, put that mic. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, we yeah. get the cool things that go right in our face. Yes. You've okay. got to pull that thing right into your face. <laughs> okay, can you hear me? Sounds like my Friday night. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and camera off. There we go. Uh, Mikey is uh, uh, representing uh, Drama Kids today, uh, although she is uh, a very well-respected actor here in Las Vegas. Uh, most recently seen as Nancy out in Super Summer Theater's production of Oliver. And nothing else coming up right now, though, right? No, just drama kids. Just drama kids. Yay! Drama kids. And I am so excited to be back for this episode specifically because I love the, the theater world and I love the children, and so this is perfect. Well, and it's not only perfect beyond that, but in our second half, I've got Trish Wade from uh, South Valley, Valley Community Theater, uh, and they do mostly children's shows. So um, I'm getting a chance to work with her through Biloxi Blues, which is one of their first endeavors into adult theater. Probably their last. <laughs> no, no. Uh, adults are a lot different to work with than kids, and that's something we're going to be talking about today. Um, but she's going to be coming in for the second half and uh, talking about a lot of things that SVCT uh, does, which is, there's no way to pronounce that acronym. <laughs> no vowels. <laughs> well, we had, we, had, uh, we had someone in here, um, was it last week or a couple weeks ago? Um, from the African American Society for Film and Theater students, and it, and it was like, your acronym is asked for. <laughs> like, yeah, we're trying to change it. And I was like, yeah, work on that. Anyway, um, so, <laughs> uh, Mikey, um, tell us a little bit about Drama Kids. Um, they've been around for close to thirty years, but uh, yes, internationally we've been around. The franchise started in Australia about thirty years ago, and. We have been around here in Vegas for five, and right away we were one of the largest franchises. Um, our owner, Tina Nowak, 
is fantastic. Shout yeah, shout out to Tina. Tina. She used to be a teacher in the district, and she ended up being a humanities teacher um, at my mom's school. My mom was a principal, <laughs> and she they, she was in the program for a year. She loved it. She loved working with the kids, doing theater with them. And then budget cuts, they cut the program. Uh oh. So mm -hmm. she didn't want to go back to just the regular classroom. She found out about drama kids, decided to buy the franchise out here in Vegas. And so we've been here for five years. We're about 800 students strong. Oh, that's great. Um, basically, our main focus is the after school program. We go into the elementary schools, the parents pay $15 class, they pay for an eight or nine week session, and we work on all of our basic skill buildings, which is really focused. On, um, on confidence boosting. It's all about getting kids to feel comfortable about working in small groups, large groups, and even sometimes working on their own and getting up in front of people and using their creativity and feeling good about it. Our slogan is, we build confidence, not shows. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Well, do you do shows? We do a, for some of our programs, um, our schools that we've been at forever, and we add some more every year, our full year performance schools is what we call them. So they do two sessions of our core work, our skill building and all that fun drama kid stuff. And then their last 12 weeks, they work towards a performance. And okay. they're our own uh, Drama Kids International shows. They're, um, they're very cute. <laughs> they're cute. very adorable. Everyone gets to have lines. There's no auditions. Um, it's just supposed to be a really good opportunity for them to get on stage. Uh, and that's, you know, we say that's a treat for them. We are not performance-based. It's our treat to them. Now, to it, it, is this like, you know, when, uh, when I was in Little League Baseball where everyone gets to make it on the team and everyone must play, even the kids that suck? Everybody wins! Okay, good. <laughs> um, yes. Well, I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I have a child, so I completely understand uh, the encouragement factor, and uh, um, I wish this were around when it would have been age appropriate for my daughter. Uh, you have areas in Henderson, Summerlin, and Centennial Hills? Yes, we kind of started out in the way in the Centennial Hills area and kind of grew outwards. Uh, we yeah. do have schools all the way over by uh, the M Resort. Okay. I'm, I live by Centennial Hills. That's a really fun drive to make. Uh, and then we also have uh, we have a couple schools way out in Old Henderson too. So okay. um, we have them scattered around, but our main center where most of our schools are is Summerlin, Summerlin and Centennial Center. Okay, and, and I'm looking at the website right now uh, for anyone interested, uh, and this goes all the way up through age 18, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we have an acting academy <coughs> program, which Sorry. is our middle school and high school students, and that's when we kind of get we actually focus a lot on improv with them. We've been fun. having yeah, improv. It is yeah. so much fun. What? Last Last year we had our first acting academy class and they all kind of, I wasn't there, what I heard from Tina is that they all kind of stood there like, why are they making us do this? This is really stupid. Uh, but wait, now, you had kids that said improv was stupid? Yes. <laughs> but now... And you let them stay? They were improvising. Well, now, oh. <laughs> now they've it was been... A choice. Our second year kids in acting academy are such a tight-knit family now that they, the first day of class, they jumped up there and they came up with some of the funniest things. I was rolling on the floor. It was so funny. And then the new kids felt like, oh, this is okay. We can, okay, I can be silly and goofy and have fun and it's not scary. And it was a really awesome experience. So that's cool. That's our that's acting, a pro acting academy program. For those of you uh, possibly tuning in just a few moments late, we're talking with Mikey Phillips, who's one of the, do you call them coaches, instructors, teachers? Teachers. Teachers. Yeah. Uh, uh, with the Drama Kids International uh, throughout the Clark County Valley. Uh, you can find more information at www.dramakids.com, all one word. And um, there's lots uh, of programs, you know, clicking clicking through uh, some of the uh, programs. You've got workshops for three and four year olds, mm -hmm. kinder kids, lower primary, upper I think primary, they do early childhood. Oh yeah, three and and, early and all kids. the way up yep. through. Uh, now, do, do you have the acting academy here? Yes, okay. they, we have two classes for acting academy. One is over at the YMCA in Centennial uh, Hills, and then the other one is at our. We actually have a studio. Um, it's the Art Starts Here Studio, which we do visual art classes. The, we bought the studio, so all the classes oh, are staying wow. from then, from there, all the great art classes, and now we're adding our drama kids classes, and we have an acting academy class there on Wednesday nights. Okay, and now is this open enrollment for for kids, or or is there like, oh, sorry, you missed it by twelve minutes? Uh, <laughs> no, no, <clears throat> yeah, we definitely, um, you know, if a class gets full, obviously we don't want to get a class too big because we don't want a teacher to we don't want the teachers to be able to reach the kids. Sure. So we have a max number, but if there's still space in the class and there's you know, they've been in class for two weeks, we will definitely, you know, get them in and purr at you and, you know, they can jump right in and have some fun. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, now, it, you go to the schools uh, yes. and uh, you also have locations where the kids come, mm -hmm. is that correct? So uh, how does that balance out? Um, because I, I, 
I can understand, you know, going to the schools and doing enrichment programs for mm -hmm. schools that don't have the budgets to do that. Um, where I lived uh, previously in Laughlin, um, there was a national, I don't remember the name of the group, but they came in for like two weeks, worked with the kids, and then on a Monday, <clears throat> they auditioned a show, on mm -hmm. Tuesday they cast, Wednesday, Thursday they rehearsed, and on Friday they put it up. Was it Missoula? It Missoula was Missoula! Missoula. <laughs> uh, shout out, uh, free publicity for Missoula. But I mean, um, is that similar in some respects? Because obviously, in certain schools where, uh, in, in elementary and middle schools, most of them don't have uh, drama exactly. programs, and kids have to rely, if they're even interested, in community theater. And then there's even less for them to do. Exactly. And then when there is something for them to do, it may be two lines or um, you know, uh, <laughs> no lines at all, and you still got to show up because you're on stage all the time, yeah. <laughs> uh, and and having to do um, uh, susical things, <laughs> or Not being a thing in susical. Um, mm -hmm. So, so you go to the schools. And so, what is different between going to the schools? It's the same. It's the same program basically. The parents still pay for the program. Um, we have went to we uh, work with twentieth, twenty first century schools, um, which they're all grant. They're schools that get grants, and they can use some of their grant money for a program like Drama Kids to come in and work with some of their kids. We've also done after school all stars, which is an amazing program. Big shout out to them. Um, they basically will bring in programs and the kids sign up. The oh, okay. kids sign up to which activity they want to do that, that session. Uh, we've worked with them and then we have, like I said, at our other schools, our parents pay. They do an eight week or nine week session and uh, they're with us for an hour. And to see their growth from week one, I think I was just telling someone, one of my kids at uh, State and Elementary, the first three weeks she was with me, she cried the whole the whole class. I don't want to be here. I don't want to get up in front of people. I'm shy. I don't want to do it. She this is her third year in the program. Last year she had one of our leads, and she had the whole audience rolling on the floor. They thought she was fantastic, big voice, and I even her parents to this day say, I don't know where this child came from. It's it. I completely believe that it's drama kids that really does help them because it gives them that that space to just kind of let themselves go a little bit and just you yeah. know well, explore their creativity and exactly. <clears throat> And we make it a safe place. I mean, we always talk about, you know, as adults in the theater. Well, I noticed that it is a safe place because all the teachers are uh, screened. Uh, it says so right on the home page. Uh, yes. No pedophiles and drama kids. It says, so, it says so right on the front page. Um, no, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but, uh, uh, but uh, <laughs> it, 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 I, I'm guessing you guys are bonded to some yes. extent because uh, you are screened <clears throat> for criminal um, uh, background checks, uh, yes. which... which Obviously, Obviously, we're dealing with children. <laughs> of course, of course, uh, and and of course, I have fun at your expense. That's what we do. <laughs> well, and I think that with our teachers, what's really interesting is, and Liz actually taught with us for a brief stint. Uh, we have. Yes, yeah, she's not talking at all. <laughs> well, I don't have all the knowledge. That's why I'm not still working. <laughs> Well, we, our teachers come from two different backgrounds. We have a couple teachers that are actually teachers in the school district, and they want to do more with the kids. They want to, you know, this is something that they enjoy. And then we also have people like me. I have a degree in theater, and we have a couple other teachers that are theater background, and we enjoy kids like these two ladies. I you know, do. You enjoy being around kids. What, I don't enjoy have, kids? No, you're grumpy. Uh, today I am, uh, I am. I am a little grumpy today, uh, yeah, but that's because I have to sit in the hot seat because Eric has to be me has to be responsible. Me, me. You feel a lot of pressure. Do you feel pressure? Right no, now? no. Why uh, don't you call the ambulance, Glenn? Oh, wow. Please. Uh, some, somebody is stealing a line from a Bruce Willis movie. I've never seen any Bruce Willis movies oh, in my is, entire life. That, that is a Bruce. That is that's from a from Bruce Willis. Yeah, from the kid. And the reason reason I know that is because uh, uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt and Bruce Willis are in a movie called Looper, mm -hmm. and somebody took footage from when Joseph Gordon Levitt was in Angels in the Outfield and Bruce so Willis. He was? Yeah, yes. and, and Bruce Willis when he was in the kid, and mashed them together and and made it. If Disney had done Looper in 1991, <laughs> and it's the funniest thing in the world. That's brilliant. Uh, it's it's like somebody who took um, uh, some Peter Gabriel music and uh, edited it into the movie The Shining and made it a happy. Oh, I saw that. Uh, and, and, you know, so I, I love that kind of stuff. Uh, not that that has anything to do with drama kids, <laughs> but uh, I do segues every once in a while, and uh, normally uh, we have a bell. 
oh, and yeah. we don't have the bell, so it? just I'll be the bell. Oh, okay, you be the bell. Ding! Yeah, anytime <laughs> I go off the, the deep end. Um, and, and, and of course, uh, this is not the first time I've had to host alone. Actually, I think the last time you were here, Mikey, uh, I was back here. It was the other half of the Oliver cast. You were oh, here Because yeah, I, I was, was here when Mikey that was here. Yeah. Uh, uh, huh? You were here with uh -huh. you were here with Miles, Alexa, and Sarah. Yeah, wasn't I here? For no, both? I wasn't there. No, but weren't you here for the other time that yeah. Oliver came in? Yeah. And I wasn't back. Oh, quit! And put I'm taking them off because they're driving <laughs> me crazy. I have to take off my earrings too. Sorry. But, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that could be the bell. Oh. oh. You know, no, we don't need a bell. We've got <laughs> earrings jangling. <laughs> this is why we don't have all women here all the time. All the jangly bling. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I've got an earring on too, but um, I it's don't. tiny. I don't know What? Why did I what? wear this hat? Well, they don't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, let me tell you why. I'm... <laughs> well, if you, if you're uh, if, if you're catching us later on YouTube by chance because you're see, I I don't know, ever know how to uh, bring into you know to segue into. You know, if you're just tuning in to watching us on YouTube, <laughs> we've already. If you're watching us on YouTube now, you have not lied. This is, this happened yesterday, or at least a couple of days ago. Uh, and those of you that are listening live right now have no clue what's on Carrie Ann's head, oh. but she's going to tell you now, so that there's no reason for you to watch the YouTube special with. Um, <laughs> or you could so you can see how pretty. We yeah. Are. Well, okay. Uh, I'll give you a hint. Uh, it goes like this. A ribbit, a ribbit, a ribbity rit rit, a ribbity ribbity rit rit bit. That's your hint. Yes. I'm wearing a frog hat. Yeah. <laughs> and Carrie Ann came in with uh, a grill uh, as did. well. I did. I came in with a grill. One of those. One of those. Uh, Hillbilly mouthpieces. No, except it's gold. It, except it's it was gold. Straight up gangsta. <laughs> but it was all crooked. Yeah, because it was twenty five cent. That's <laughs> twenty five cent. I still get when you put that in your mouth. Okay, so <laughs> no braces. The reason I got this grill and this frog hat on is because I work with the little ones as well. Yes, you do. In a theater ish capacity, because I took my fascination with early childhood development and fused it into classes that I teach with creative arts here in Las Vegas at Child's Play. Right. So I. So we're gonna. We've got a Jello pit set up aside. Uh, so those <laughs> yeah. of you watching in, we're, we're gonna have Mikey and uh, we go wrestle. And Carrie Ann wrestle to see who's the better at Yay. educating. I'll be the best teacher. Round one. So anyway, anyway, guys, my class tomorrow is the first of a six-week session, and it's a Sesame Street themed class. But I put an SNL spin on it, and instead of doing Elmo and Big Bird and Kermit the Frog, I do Smell Mo, a smelly red monkey and I do big nerd who wears funny like black rimmed glasses and I'm featuring for the first time Kermit the thug who's from the street tomorrow in my class and there it goes Carrie <laughs> <laughs> so no, uh, uh, obviously uh, you can't take uh, <laughs> certain characters that are tried and true and uh, destroy them. Uh, I don't want to destroy, and my Elmo voice wasn't as good as Eric's, and so I realized very quickly, like, ah, well, okay, I can make my own character. Yeah, and, and I won't do my Elmo, because my Elmo is very... Touch Elmo there! No, oh. do not touch Elmo <laughs> there! See, this it... is a children's themed <laughs> show! Yeah. And I have the mind of a child, I'm so... I posted on the Drama Kids Facebook page for all my students. Oh, did this. you? Yeah. Sucker. Uh, apparently, Mikey's never listened to the show before, even, even though she's been on it once before. Um, we love Jello. That's why it's here. We're just gonna eat all the Jello. Yeah. It's gonna be delicious. So uh, again, uh, if, if you're just tuning in, uh, we're talking with Mikey Phillips, who's one of the uh, teachers over at Drama Kids. Drama Kids. Uh, you can find out uh, about their schedules at www.dramakids.com. Uh, cool. You guys have uh, a link on Facebook as well. Yes. As does Curtain Call with Eric Ball, so feel free to link the two up and socially integrate yourself with all yeah. things thuggish. Um, yeah. Drama Kids has no association with thugs. I just want to put that. <laughs> <laughs> Nor does They've all been screened. Nor does Curtain <laughs> Call. <laughs> Curtain Call is just a bunch of sad, repressed nerds who <laughs> love theater and, and love hearing ourselves <laughs> talk. Because uh, that's... That's what I do. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, we're going to take a quick little break uh, just so that we can pay for all of uh, these fun things that we do here on the radio. Uh, but come back in a couple of minutes and listen to more. 
Yeah, you guys are up. I can say things now? Okay. Yeah. Hello. All for one. All right. That so, was awesome. So, so good. Good. Perfect. Listen up, drama kid. <laughs> right, oh my god. <laughs> Tune in for Miss Mike. I'm gonna have to apologize to all of them. Are you really? Oh, they're not that bad. They're not gonna be listening. It's AM. They don't even know what the hell an AM is. <laughs> like, what's AM? Where's oh, all the other is songs? It, is it a, are they're we on still the other YouTube-y side? Right now? Yeah. Oh, hi. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Yep, yeah, of course. Say hi, Carrie Ann. Hi, Carrie Ann. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. Uh, yeah, you know what? That gets more comments. Um, and, you, and you guys can both shift over a little bit if you want. Oh, would you uh, like us to shift over? Well, because over? There, there's not two people sitting over there, um, oh. you can actually get into frame. I'm usually hey. like, not, uh, hold on. You can get into frame now. Am I in frame? Your profile, yes. I'll just stare at the camera the whole time. That's very awesome. You guys look really pretty. Thanks. Yeah. Huh? Look that way and sit the same thing. Oh, uh, <laughs> not as pretty that way. Oh well, at least I look good on film. <laughs> that. Um. Have you guys seen Sweeney yet? No. Oh, yes. I can't wait to talk about it on the show. Yeah, let's talk about it. Okay. I'm going challenge. on Friday, next Friday. I, you know what? I, I don't want to hear anything about it. I know you were there. You and Jen were there. I just did the show last year, and I don't want to hear. I know it's better. It's it's not that it's better. It's, it's just different. really different. And I, my comments are more on how Brandon used Bionics. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm so curious about that. Oh, my well, gosh. Uh, you know what? Let's come back uh, because we can talk about other things. We don't have to just talk about kids. Uh, Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it, but I think I'm going to get Kids. excited. <laughs> do you guys get actors' critiques on the show? Or are you just too nice to do that? We do this for free. So, you guys can, so I can say whatever I want about whoever I, I want? I think um, it's awful. Yeah. You know what? There is, a, there is always time <laughs> for uh, critical comments. This is not a review show. Um, <laughs> but we're going to bring it back in a moment. I just want to go back to when Elizabeth was in uh, Lily Walker and she was really bad. Right. <laughs> she could have added lines every night. <laughs> oh. Y'all have to see what works. All right, welcome back. Uh, this is obviously not uh, Eric Ball, but um, this is Glenn, and uh, welcoming back to the airwaves after a bit of time away is Miss Carrie Ann Parks. Hi! I don't think oh, my wait, mic's hold on. on. Yeah. Darn it. Hi! There you are. Hi, Sorry um. about that. I, there's these red <laughs> buttons in front of my hair <laughs> that I have to push on when I want you to talk. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, also joining us, if you're uh, just tuning in now, is Liz Matthews, who's... Uh, oh, good boy. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, you know what we're laughing about. Uh, good Lord. Uh, if Liz uh, has been in a couple of times uh, as one of our special guest hosts, and welcome back. Always a pleasure. The pleasure's all mine. Uh, as I look under the desk. Yes. Uh, and huh? Never mind. I'm confused. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. On it. Uh, and joining us uh, today for a little bit of discussion uh, is Mikey Phillips, uh, one of the teachers at Drama Kids International, uh, with multiple locations here in Las Vegas. Yes. www.dramakids.com. Uh, preschool, primary, middle school, high, high school. school programs. Uh, all sorts of uh, enrichment programs encouraging, um, I forgot your tagline, your... Building you confidence, confidence Building not shows. There we <laughs> I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> or, or we have um, where we act up with a purpose. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's yeah. cute. Because yeah. th actually, that's I should adopt that for myself. <laughs> um, it, well, it, you know, speaking speaking of shows, uh, there's quite a few shows uh, going on here in town. Um, I believe uh, next Friday uh, opens up uh, one of LVLT shows, Pillow Man. Pillow Man. Uh, Romeo and Juliet, I think, just closed at UNLV this weekend. 
uh, opening, or just having opened uh, this past Friday, um, was Sweeney Todd over at the Onyx. And, uh, Sweeney Liz, Todd! Liz, Liz, Liz is, Liz I'm is dying chomping, to talk yeah, about Liz it. Yeah, Liz is chomping at the bit to uh, talk about <laughs> it. Um, and then there's some other shows coming up. Uh, we've got uh, Peter Pan being done over at Faith Lutheran, which is why Eric's not here. He's getting uh, things squared away for that show, which opens, I believe, November 1st or 2nd. Um, it's coming up quick. It's coming up real quick. Uh, and then uh, I'm doing a production of Biloxi Blues for Veterans Day weekend. What's uh, that? Biloxi Blues. Yeah, no, no. Whoa, those weren't words but either. I, <laughs> I never did hear about that. Uh, oh, well, uh, Biloxi Blues is uh, the <coughs> second part of the Neil Simon biography trilogy. The first was uh, Brighton Beach Memoirs, second Biloxi Blues, and I can't think of the third one. Uh, but it, uh, it, if you remember the movie with Matthew Broderick um, and... Of the same namesake? Christopher no, Walken. I've never heard of it. Biloxi Blues, yeah. No. Uh, it's, it's a World War II uh, coming of age. Comedy Who's doing book. that? It's being done. Uh, well, if you stick around for the second half of the show, you'll meet Trish Wade, mm. uh, who is one of the producers <clears throat> with South Valley Community Theater, and it's being done um, primarily as a benefit for the Veterans Administration. So uh, we've got three performances, November 9th at 7 p.m. and November 10th at 2 and 7 at the Henderson uh, Convention Center. So, uh, so yeah, uh, I've got long hair right now, and in a week and a half, it'll all be gone. Gone! I'm shaving it. Speaking of shaving, oh, Sweeney God. Todd is at the Yes! Yes! Um... <laughs> Uh, Liz, you so, want to go see it, and uh, you know we're we're not going to really review, but uh, no, I, I won't I, review it. But it was awesome. <laughs> 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 but what I do want to talk about is Brandon Burke. Let's, let's talk, talk about, about him. Brandon Burke let's, because let's the director. Re oh, let's the director. dig the juice awesome. out of Brandon and artistic director for the Onyx and Off Strip Productions or Entertainment or whatever it is. It's Off Strip Productions. Productions. Yeah. I should know better. Um, but anyway, so I wouldn't have thought that Sweeney Todd would be, like, able to be done in the Onyx because it's literally a shoebox. Like, and that's what I thought, too. Yeah, it's, it's so small. Production. I don't know how he was po able to do it, but that is like a, he made it like a, a grand stage. Well, there, there is a there's lot of, levels, there's yeah. lot, there is a lot of space there, but a lot of times those back corners are mm -hmm. full of stuff, mm -hmm. and you've got those uh, curtains that basically just cut everything off. So I'm guessing, I haven't uh, I had a chance to see it. I'm going to uh, get out there next uh, Friday, I hope, because uh, I, I do have a lot of friends in the show. Uh, but I'm guessing um, the only, I, I would even guess that the wall where the band is, because there's a, a five-piece uh, string. Yeah, they have a, uh, that, and that is in the, the wing space but you, but you to stage them. left. Yeah. Okay. So, because when you and I did Rocky Horror there, we yeah. had them in kind of like a fishbowl. Yeah, they're on the opposite <laughs> side, and they're just kind of poking out the poking out since they can't hide them all. But um, that looks great. There's the opposite corner. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, did I say stage? I'm whatever. Stage, I was so confused. Well, audience left or stage right? Audience left, stage right. <laughs> 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 so um, anyway, so that's where the the. Uh, little orchestra is and then there's level I don't want to tell you so much about the stage what? but I want to tell you guys everything because it was well, so shocking like uh, Jen here, and I wanted to cry it was so here, amazing here, here's the thing or I Sweeney to Todd huh? most people know how Sweeney Todd ends so you're not going to be giving well, any they, spoilers well well he kills some people but yes <laughs> no I mean as far as like spoiling how he uses the spade or uh, spade spade <laughs> wait 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 well we've got to cut it there because uh, you know I want to I want to actually go and see what Brandon Burke has done with a spade oh with a spade <laughs> the staging was so good it was yeah no, it was well done well directed and um, it's, yeah it's a, it's a, it's a, there's it's levels there's a balcony I know. No, I there know. is not a balcony, not for the audience. For Joanna. Well, no, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Joanna has a little balcony. Okay. It's super well done, and uh, there's they use the scrim really nicely. Like, oh, I was so impressed. Yeah, uh, and uh, they're quite a quite a talented crew. Uh, Chris May is in the title mm -hmm. role. You've got Kelly Wright playing Miss Love. Oh, she is great. Yeah. I bet. Uh, I bet and uh, awesome. let's see, uh, Scott. I want to be her. Uh, I, I can't pronounce Scott's last name. It's Scott, Scott Gibson. So Scott, <laughs> Scott Ukulele Simpson. Uh, <laughs> he was so cute, too. Uh, and then... Uh, oh, crush on you. Uh, Alexa, Scott, hey. Ale Alexa Freeman, uh, <laughs> who Mikey knows from uh, this past summer. She was the artful Dodger. And we know from Willy Wonka. She, yep. she was I my was daughter. Wonka we all know from Willy Wonka. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't was in Willy Wonka. Uh, but, uh, 
a, a very uh, talented cast. Uh, very Ma Michael talented. Drake. No, wait, I have a question uh, though. Alexa as Joanna. Like she's, a, she's the right age. She is, is the ex ex disgusting yep. in all the right ways. Okay. Here, here's the thing: when 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 Sweeney gets sent to prison, his daughter is less than a year old. Yeah, she's he come, a baby. He comes back 15 years later. So. Guess what? She's supposed to be about fifteen. Yeah. Granted, uh, Alexa is not quite there. Oh, it, but and the judge is so much older than her. <laughs> it is really vomitous. It's Ooh. gross, gross, but perfect. But uh, but they uh, it, they did cut his song out. So it, they did. So it didn't get they did. too oh. uber creepy. Oh, yeah. There. I do have to ask. That I know that um, I was I I was actually originally in the show because of scheduling conflicts. What? Who was you? I was in the ensemble. Oh, hey. Uh -huh. The ensemble. Um, <laughs> Hey, people, they, okay, pronounce it, pronounce that again. Ensemble? As ensemble. opposed to ensemble. Ensemble. People pronounce, <laughs> people pronounce it differently. Um, what do I say? Ensemble. I also say that a remote. That sounds weird. So. Sound okay, I don't, I don't I, know what I, it, it must be like a space. I have, it's a space. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to ask a question, because I know that when we were in the, you know, the first rehearsal, which is the only one that I went to, that they had talked about Greenfinch about cutting it. No, they, she sang it. She, did she sing okay. the whole thing? Well, I, I know, I know. No, I might have had a couple of adult beverages. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. That. Well, uh, I, from, from, that's why it was so good, you guys. <laughs> from from what I know, uh, because uh, I do, like I said, I do know a lot of people in the show, and I and have talked to out out of school uh, with regards to a lot of things. There have been some trimming mm -hmm. aspects to the show, but um, obviously, not Liz to hinder did, it. Yeah. No. Um, no. Mm -mm. No. Uh, obviously, the judge's song, um, the Mea Culpa song. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Because that was that was one I had. To I do did last notice year. that one was gone. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but all uh, the, the way that you did that is like forever sinned uh, into my brain. Thanks. <laughs> With um, you flogging yourself. Yep. Wow. Yeah, and and really, he's supposed to be doing a lot more than flogging. Yeah. Well, and that's what made me creeped out about the fact that it was Alexa on the other side of the keyhole. Mm-hmm. So yeah, in the, the production of Sweeney Todd, I did in two thousand and four, five. That's what was going on. Yeah. He was like smiling. Yeah, and that's. Mad about it. And, and, anyway, and, that was ooh. cut. Yeah. Uh, and, <laughs> and I think some other songs were trimmed down a little bit, like uh, um, God That's Good, I think, was trimmed back a little bit. Um, by the Sea, I don't think was. That was out. Yeah. No, uh, By the Sea? I well, know. You know what? They didn't uh, go to the sea. It, it, the, the show, the sh <laughs> <laughs> the show, the show uh, was adapted from, I think, the uh, 2001 Broadway revival, where it's told from... Uh, Tobias. Point. Tobias point mm -hmm. point of view, it so. starts in the insane asylum, yeah. and and oh, and Tobias. I was in there. Yeah, he was a Troy uh, Tinker. Older, Troy. yeah, Troy Tinker. He was older, and I loved how he played it. He was a different take than I would have ever thought it to so be. So wait, who is Sweeney? Um, uh, Chris Mays. Chris Mays. Yeah. For some reason, I thought it was Troy. No, because I just saw pictures on Facebook. Mm -mm, Chris Mays. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So confusing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, Bill Flynn is uh, the Beatle. Uh, I think you know one of the few. I don't know who the judge is. I think that's. I I don't. I've never seen him ever in my life before. Did they cut that role altogether? No. No, he's there. <laughs> <laughs> he's there, and he's older, and it just makes it so creepy Ooh, and delicious. Awesome. awesome. I, I, and 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 we'll bring it back to, to Mikey. Um, not not that not that drama kids would ever do Sweeney Todd. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like Jersey Girl. Uh, where MTI just came out with Sweeney Todd Junior. Seriously. Ew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it would not surprise me because uh, no, because uh, there is an Avenue Q Junior. What? Yes. I've heard a song from it, and I was so mad about. The, the inter internet is for books. Well, <laughs> the internet is for friends. Is that what yeah, it is? So, yeah. Or the internet is for corn. I don't know. <laughs> There's a, no. It's, it's and it's bad. like ah, it's, it's like cruel. really. It's I don't know. Painful. How do you do? How do you do? You can be the loud as the heck you want. I think that was probably cut when you're baking brownies. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the show has, uh, it's, it's only 6.30 and we have uh, degraded into brownies. Um, wow. Uh, so, uh, Mikey, um, do you, uh, as, far, as far as the shows, do you guys do original productions uh, with drama Yes, kids? we do. They're our own, like, our own, uh, sorry. It's our own Drama Kids International place. We're not, you're not going to see us do Annie or Oliver. Um, and they are shorter. Because basically, you see us at the theater on our performance days, and it is slightly impressive, slightly chaotic. Because we are bringing in one school, one school is on stage, another school is coming in, getting dressed in the dressing rooms. Once that 
school is done, we take them out, we dismiss them, and the next school is going on. And, and, and each school wow. is doing the same production? They all do the same. The older kids, we have we split them up into two groups. There's kindergarten through second, and there's third through fifth. So, 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 if, somebody, so, so if somebody had like, like kids, kids in like three different programs, they'd have to sit and watch the production three times? Three different programs? Why would they be doing three no, different programs? No, say they have... No, say that... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you no. Know, maybe There's they have a, two different they have, age they have a kid, they have a kid, they have a kid, they have a kid in kindergarten and a kid in fourth grade and a kid in seventh grade. Okay. Those are all. They would all be different productions. So oh. all the kindergarten. Hear that, seventh? parents? You don't have to sit through yeah, the same production <laughs> three times. <laughs> See what I'm doing? I'm looking out for you. This is what. This is why I'm in the hot chair today. <laughs> the little, the, the <laughs> itty bitties too have their performances too, which we're doing our first Kinder Kids performances this year, and it, they're only like four pages long, and they're just like little, like their lines are about three words long each, <laughs> and it's very, very adorable. And then our kindergarten through second, um, it's a lot of like we do little songs. They do little songs, and like last year they were the grasshoppers and the ants. No. And they have it. There's a storyline too. There's a storyline. It's. You know, you can see it. There's comedic bits. Um, there, you know, we we really push them as as far as we can. And then when you go into third and fifth, then their lines are longer. They're doing more improv. Um, we call them. It, we go like this. If you're slow watching, we go like this. And that's when it's it's now's your time to improv. Now you're ad libbing. It's your ad libbing. The camera, the camera is oh. <laughs> The radio. I'm trying to help the <laughs> listeners. That's my job. Uh, but thanks, well, Lucy. Yeah, uh, yeah, the the uh, <laughs> da -da 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 the chicken dance where the chickens actually. Oh bop, yes, bop, bop, uh, that's what Mikey's doing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's my ad lib hands. So, oh, yeah. oh, and that's another thing about our performance is that we don't want to put them on stage and be like, "All right, go have fun, guys. See you later." We don't want to put them on stage. We don't want to put them on stage and say, "Bye, see you later." Oh. We sit down in the front. You'll see us. We have our tambour, which is our tambourine with no little jingles, and. We will cue them. We will give them lines if they need it. We will tell them what stage direction if they have a stage fright moment, especially with kindergarten through second. I mean, they they all them. they all have moments where they just look at me like, I forgot where to go. Yes. What, what's what's the uh, if you want to share the funniest moment that you had to deal with kids on stage? Oh. Because I I always, I, always, I always envision those Christmas pageants where. The kid playing Santa Claus wets his pants, you know, not oh, that that's hi. funny, but it is. Uh, <laughs> not to the kids, but it's certainly funny to the adults, and they're going, As long as it's not their I'm glad yeah, it's not my kid. Yeah. <laughs> well, I we have never had that happen. Um, just all the drama kids, if you're listening, we've never had that you happen. Will not <laughs> <be fine. laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, but I did have my second year of teaching. I had this little boy, still in our program today. He was a chicken in the chicken hearted box. And he, had, he's little, he, was, he was a little kindergartner and he's sitting on the, the platform at the back and he says his line and you can't hear him and I'm like, oh, we can't hear any of his lines. And then all of a sudden, at the top of his lungs, he goes, this is embarrassing. <laughs> the whole crowd heard him and everyone just lost it. I was oh. like, we can't hear any of your lines, but everyone heard that. Mm, that's awesome. So <laughs> that's fine. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. <laughs> that's the next play I'm in. Uh, you know what? I almost did that last, <laughs> last night. Uh, I had to go on last night for... Uh, for what? The governor in uh, Bessel Horror House. Oh, I thought he was. Oh. I thought he was. Oh, I forgot about, about that show. And uh, I, I, this is embarrassing. I, 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 I was at, I was asked to learn the part a couple of weeks ago, and no no rehearsals, no anything. <coughs> I had had the part down, and I get on stage, and I, I posted this yesterday, but uh, I got up, and one of the lines, uh, you know, I believe in you know living goodness and. The, Saying, uh, oh god, I don't even know what the lines Somebody are right now. Yeah, no, 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 it was, it was uh, the, the, line, the line. The line. The line was saying daily prayers, and somehow I said saving daily chairs. Oh, <laughs> so there, there was that moment where I just wanted to stop and go. That totally sucked. Um, Were you wish you had your own? No, and you, have, you ever, have you ever done that? I mean. It, I said were staging you, earlier. Yes, <laughs> yes, that but, happens to me all the time. But you weren't on stage, and no one's expecting you to have anything <laughs> memorized for this show. No, I've done that. Something that we got don't have a paying audience list. Last week, actually, I I was teaching a theater tots class, and it was our performance class. Well, I only had three students in my class. One of them didn't show up. So I'm doing Alice in Wonderland, and, and I made myself be the Cheshire Cat because, in my opinion, like he's kind of a narrator and kind of with yeah. Alice throughout the story. When I did the, the show, that's how it was. Okay, yeah. See, I thought that was just my genius. Anyway. I mean, um, it is. You totally came up with it. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, it's 
So, um, so I'm I'm doing this Alice in Wonderland story. All the parents are in there, well, all of them, but a couple of them brought grandparents. So the two kids that were there, they totally froze up. These kids that I've been, it's a six week session. So every single week we've been doing the same lines and the same yeah. callback thing to you know the res response mm -hmm. to me, and they looked at me as though they had never heard any of these words before. Like <laughs> Alice in Wonderland was this whole new adventure that they had never participated in. Oh yeah. Like they were the audience too, to me. And so I spent <laughs> the entire 45 minute class basically improving and entertaining. So my moment of, I should not have said that, was when uh, we got to the caterpillar scene and I had the book and so I said, guys, who's this? Silence. I said, right, it's the caterpillar. And the caterpillar was blowing letters and it's so interesting. And, and that was a segment where I have them sing the alphabet, which they didn't sing at all. Guess what? The caterpillar uh, smoking kids. That was it. <laughs> oh my God. That really? was it. I said, well. Here, and, let me show you kids. Here. Here's how you roll a joint. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, this is how you roll a joint for kids. Uh, if you, she's if you can't tell, she's, yes. she's, she's doing the oh, chicken sign it's from... Really? <laughs> I do really like it. <laughs> she, no, she's, anyway, she's doing the clucking. I said out loud, <laughs> grown-ups, in, in, in the book, he was blowing letters, but in our class we blow bubbles because I just didn't think it was appropriate to bring my hookah in here. Oh! No! I don't have a hookah? What? How I blow bubbles. You? I miss Carrie! <laughs> you know? and, and the parents are out there. Who calls it a hookah anymore? It's a bong. Ah! <laughs> no, they totally laugh though, and, and I did sure, get sure. and, feedback and from a dad that it was funny. So. Well, good thing is it goes over the kids' heads. Yes. They don't know what that is. Yes, but yeah. it's, prob Until they it's go probably home. on video, and they're going to watch it years from now and be like, Miss Carrie Ann, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I need to look her up on Facebook. Uh, <laughs> they're driving in the car. Mom, what's a hookah? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, do, do, I mean, obviously, kids have those problems, uh, Mikey and Drama Kids, and, and you've already, you know, said that you have your tambour and you yes. you smack them over the head. With them with it. Them. Mm -hmm. And we totally, I have had moments on stage. But where how, how, do you, how do you get past that? Because obvi obviously, you know, you've had kids that are in the mm -hmm. program for years, uh, and there must be something they enjoy about it, which we, all of us sitting here know exactly what that is. It's hard to explain. Yeah. Uh, but how do you, because there are those kids that you, you know they're there, but mm -hmm. they have that stage fright. How do you get past that? How do you, how do you get them to not worry and laugh it off and still mm -hmm. have fun and enjoy the process? Well, I think one of the things, our very first year, I've been with the program since, since we started, and the very 30 first years. year. 30 years, wow. 30 years, no, five years. Right. <laughs> Keep up, but, um, they, the first year we did two like we did two sessions. We did a normal session and then a performance. And anyone who wanted to do the performance could join. And you know we had tons of kids who wanted to do the performance. We learned very quickly. It's always a learning process that we need to invite our kids that have been with us, that have done our skills and have learned how we teach how to perform, to be in our performance. Because first of all, it's a reward for them, and they've learned all those skills. And that the second year we literally cut that problem in half of kids having stage fright because we had worked so much with them on line drilling and on blocking and yes do they have stage fright of course you know everyone does I do yeah. we at our dress rehearsal I can see the kids that are going to be the ones that are going to get up there and they're going to freeze up and we get into that dressing room and I say we're going to line drill because you guys I just think you need to be thinking about your lines instead of about the 200 people in the audience and mm -hmm. they start to put those costumes on and I really really try to push on them like this is fun. These are this is your family. These are your friends. They love you no matter what, and they want to see you have a good time. And that really does help them. The minute that so, they so realize it's fun. So is not out there, right? <laughs> We've invited, but he just doesn't want to come. <laughs> no. Uh, not. Tony, if you're listening, we love you. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's I mean, Glenn, G-L-E-N-N, -N, two N's. <laughs> we just want to make sure they know that it's fun. Pushing the fun on them, and then if they see us having fun, we're being goofy, even though we're totally stressed out because we've done yeah. 20 performances that week and we're ready for performance season to be over. We make sure that we look like we're having fun. <laughs> they start having fun, and the stage fright goes away. What, what about, mm -hmm. um, obviously, you've got the school year. What about during the summer? Um, do you guys have programs all year round? Yes, we have not only during the summer, but also on spring break and winter break, we do camps. Oh, wow. um, and so, so parents can dump their kids. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, so you so year, year round, 365. Yeah, and you have, you know, you spring break is great for kids, but lots of parents don't get a week off no. you know, nope. in the spring. So it actually, a lot of parents say it's great to have this. They can go have fun. They feel like they're getting a break. Um, and, you know, and I like to go to work. And not only do we do that, Glenn, we also have on days off when the school district has their staff development days or something like that, we have day camps. 
Oh, so you so just had cool. one last Friday. So smart. Well, not, we're starting next the next okay. one. <laughs> <laughs> on the next one, though. The next one is it's like next week, I think. Yeah, next week they have another Friday off, and you know we've already I've heard parents like I have to work. What am I supposed to do with my kids? Well, we have a day camp, but we're doing art and drama so they okay. and we connect the two in our um, magical way. <laughs> well, you guys have really come a long way since I did it. From those what two weeks. <laughs> Like it's all really of the, growing. Yeah, yes. it's growing and it's expanding, it. and yeah, like I'm really impressed to hear all of this. Well, that we're always looking for new things to do because obviously mm -hmm. these kids, we want kids to stay with us. And if kids are coming, you know, they've been with us three years. Yeah, they can start to be like, well, you know, I've done this for three years, and you know, is it? It's kind of getting a little stale for me. So we always want to keep bringing new ideas, new things to the table to make, keep them interested and sure. keep them wanting more. Do yeah. you get to actually do any of the storylines and things yourself, or is it all? Corporate. Well, we are corporate. We are a franchise. So right, right. I work sometimes, sometimes with complete franchise approval. We work on helping to write the curriculum for everyone, for so all the owners. Yeah, yeah every once in a while. Every once in a while. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that is fun for me to get to to get put some input in that. But like I said, it's you know we're a franchise, so we have to go along right, with right. Here. But every once in a while, I do get to participate. Awesome. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to take another quick little break, and uh, I'll try not to do the deja vu commercial this time around. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, if you're just tuning in, uh, don't go anywhere. We've got Mikey Phillips uh, with us talking uh, about Drama Kids, Liz Matthews guest hosting with... And Carrie Ann Parks! With wow! He was talking about <laughs> me! There goes their mics. Uh, you're listening to Curtain Call with Eric Ball. I'm gonna just say it myself. <laughs> uh, can you check uh, the door when you come back? Yeah. <laughs> you seem like you're in a better mood now. Um, I am. No. I'm, no, I'm, uh, no. Well, it always helps uh, when I've got something to take my mind off of what's preoccupying yeah. my mind. Just. What's preoccupying your mind? Stuff. Right. You know how it is. You know. Find out more at goredforwomen.org. You got a message. Well, <gasps> Tina hasn't sent any text message to me going, What are you doing? What are you talking about? So evidently you're doing so a good job. <laughs> or she's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> more realistically. Um. <laughs> more realistically, she's not listening at all. Safe is more important than ever. When foreclosures rise, so Cheryl's listening. I know, she just said she's listening to me! Oh, the kitty you still needs a home. What kitty? This kitty? kitty? You want that kitty? No. Yes. But she's kitty. a pretty kitty. Let me, let me see her. Hold oh, on, yeah, wait for her to... Kitty! I love cats. I love cats, too. I love kids a boy. Look at her bud. Yes. Is that a girl kitty? This is a girl kitty. She's looking for a home. They found her on the side of the road. Ew, I don't want her. <gasps> she's a rescue kitty. Look at her. She's a pretty kitty. <laughs> I'm gonna give her your number. <laughs> <laughs> they asked me first because everyone knows how much I love cats. And I'm like, I already have two on my own. Ew, if you get another one, you're I know, I'm a cat lady. Cat lady. <laughs> you know, I had as many as five at one time. Ew, you cat lady. <laughs> Well, my, my ex could not not adopt a cat if it was yeah. almost so. <clears throat> I'm trying not to have no animals. Do you remember when you drove up next to my car and I had the cat in my car? I just I do remember. It. I was like, it's Liz, I have a cat! <laughs> is Trish out there? No. No? Okay. But the door is unlocked and okay. I peeked around. I don't understand your shirt. Okay, Baltimore math. And it's a couple years old, so a couple of these players aren't there anymore, but it's quarterback plus this player equals touchdown! Oh, I get it now. You don't have to explain all of them. Quarterback plus right. this one equals... Coming back in five. Okay, okay. snaps. Oh, well, now they're talking about beer. Is the quarterback game. always five? He, that's his number. That's his specific Oh, question. okay. I got that that was everyone else's number. number. Monkeys and 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 monkeys
All right, welcome back to Curtain Call with uh, Eric Ball. Uh, Without that Eric monkey Ball. isn't here, but um, <laughs> the other monkeys are here. Uh, Yay. Coming back after uh, her whirlwind tour, Miss Carrie Ann Parks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and there goes her mic again. <laughs> oh, and uh, and uh, coming back again as one of our special guests, because we have a rotating crew of lovely ladies apparently now. Just all the ladies want to be here mm -hmm. with me. And uh, Hi, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's not listening right now. Uh, Liz Matthews is uh, here. Uh, back from Coming back from her whirlwind tour. <laughs> Whoa. From, Ariz from Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> from my tour of the Grand Canyon. Uh, how was that? It was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, it was great. It was so much fun, blah, blah, blah. I got to go sit in a hole. Literally, the Grand Canyon is a big the old hole. Biggest one the ever. biggest hole ever. And it was awesome. And I'd go on night hikes and... Uh, Oh. <laughs> there are drama kids listening. <laughs> Hi, drama kids. <laughs> drama kids. <laughs> Actually, mom and dad have turned off the radio <laughs> long ago. <laughs> They're like, kids, go watch Disney Channel. Mom and dad are going to listen. <laughs> we want to hear about this hookahs and gangsta frogs. <laughs> and, <laughs> so, and some of the thugs. Shh, she's talking about her hole. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on to that. So, yeah, it was great. Blah, blah, blah. Um, unfortunately, funding got cut. The investors were like, hey, we're having a Why are we doing all these hand signals today? I mean, first, first Mikey's over there, da 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 and then, It's because the and gangster then, frog. And then, and then Car <laughs> Carrie Ann is, you know, rolling stuff, and then you're like, and these are the worst improv scissors ever, by the way. Excuse me, why? Don't because worry, scissors are like this. I know, but scissors need legs. Oh, what is this? What is this? Is this a phone? Yes. yes. Oh, good lord. <laughs> I don't get it. We teach baby sign. Because when you hold a phone, do you hold a phone like this? <laughs> no. Will now. No, but Zach Morris might. Oh, well, Zach oh, Morris right. isn't here. No. Zach Morris is not here. Mikey Phillips is here. And mm -hmm. uh, you're welcome to stick around if, if you've got the time. Yeah. Um, uh, Maybe I'm having so much fun. But Mikey, <laughs> <laughs> why do you think she's, I cheat? Keep she's like, uh, how long? How long do I have to be there? Well, you know, we'd like you from six to seven if you want to stay. No, <laughs> no, I, obligated. I don't want to stay any. Oh, but this was fun. Sure, I'd love to stay longer. <laughs> Ding! Uh, Mikey, Mikey's here talking about uh, Kinder or Drama kin Kids. Kinder, kinder, drama kinder kids. kids is a part of Drama Kids. Thank you. Programs uh, that's, three, a, three, three, that's, three that's what's up on my screen right now. Uh, a lot of programs for uh, ages... Three to 18, 17. 17 18, you know, and speaking of the kinder kids, I do want to specify the three to five-year-olds, a lot of parents have come to me and said, well, you know, what can they really do for theater or what can theater do for them kind of thing. And so much. giving them a foundation of confidence mm -hmm. and giving them a foundation of feeling like being silly is okay is amazingly incredible. And building so, confidence, so. not shells. Exactly. Yes, especially and, and, if they're getting ready to go into a school situation, getting ready to go into oh, kindergarten. Yeah. Sure, and, or or going or going into spot. a new school, or mm -hmm. or even I mean I I'm sorry, you know, puberty. We all go through it. Um, I haven't this, yet. Some, yeah, I'm trying not to. I'm hoping. Um, <laughs> I want to be a lady. But there's but, there, but there's certainly those awkward times um, in, in kids' life, and yeah. and something like this, <clears throat> any of these enrichment programs. Um, and, and drama is certainly one that you know finds the axe most often in uh, yeah. public school systems, not in yeah. the private schools. Which but is so unfortunate. Uh, of course, but we we live in a uh, in an era where you know budget constraints and people don't I know it, Grand Canyon? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> snip, snip, snip. <laughs> Uh, Wait, what are we talking about? I don't know. We, I, apparently, we're talking about you because this is. <laughs> Do you, to me. Don't you know it's always about me? Yes, which is why you're only here once every two months. Oh, oh. ouch! I'm coming on next week. Okay. Uh, I decided it. Uh, Mikey, uh, give us give us a, a little bit uh, of what um, is coming up uh, with Drama Kids. So, anyone who may not be in the program right now what they may have to look forward to in the next couple of months. Obviously, we've got the holidays, so mm -hmm. do you guys do the holiday? Yes, we have, um, like I said, we have those day camps coming up if you're a uh, Clark County School District parent and you have work and you need to send your kids somewhere, send them to us. It's at our uh, studio, which is on Lake Mead and Rampart. It's called Art Starts Here, and it's $39 for the whole day, and they do art in the morning, drama in the afternoon, they bring And lunch. how long's the day? 
The day is from 9 to 4. Wow, that's that a is long a, day. A long day of art and drama. <laughs> it's they're going to be really fun. It's yeah, fun. We're, yeah, and, and, and if you're just tuning in, and we're not mocking any of this, obviously, because uh, we we all love drama, but uh, we're all friends here, so yes. we're we're, ha we're having we're having fun. Uh, yeah, did I sound like I was mocking? Yes, sorry. Yes, you were. <laughs> <laughs> they were, can't see that. You were yes, because the camera is actually on you right now. Okay. Uh, you you sounded very mocking and oh, bitter well, all I'm at the same sorry. time. I'm sorry. I was being an um, an advertiser. Yes. She was being she ironic. She was doing her best commercial voice. <laughs> That's what I was doing. You're welcome, it, Drama Kids. <laughs> Drama Kids, uh, wonderful program. Drama Kids International has been around uh, for about 30 years. Uh, started in Australia yes. and uh, in Las Vegas. I've been paying attention five years. Five years. Uh, and, you, and you've been uh, with them the whole time. And uh, if you're interested, uh, again, great programs from uh, 2 to 17, 18. Obviously, three, they don't put three. 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 Yes. Two year olds are mine. Once, once oh, a two year old sorry, sorry. Three, sorry. <laughs> Carrie Ann has dibs on the two year olds and under. <laughs> uh, send them to www, uh, which you don't really need to put that in. W, it, it's w -W -W. implied. It's implied. Uh, <laughs> as is HTTP colon slash slash uh, drama kids, all one word dot com. Um, and you can see all the different programs uh, coming up, the schedules. Um, and again, you guys are 365, or for the most part, obviously, you're not there on Christmas Day. No, but no. we will do a, we do a spring, or a winter break camp, which the first week, the way it lines up, Christmas is during the first year of winter break. Yeah. It's, it's kind of weird. So the second week, we will definitely do a camp, which is, will be all winter themed, and the kids will have, again, a fantastic time. And then in spring, we'll do one as well. And we do have, um, we do have classes that have just started but we are still taking students which is our kinder kids which as Glenn said is the three to uh, five year olds and that's also at our studio Lake Mead and Rainford. and we also have a teen acting academy class that is also two classes in but we will take them and they are performance group as well the okay. teens do a more um, script based uh, play it's a little bit more closer to what you think of like a high school production sure. um, and they blow us they blew us away last year they were amazing and, and this is this that's is a awesome. wonder, this is a wonderful opportunity for parents uh, again for uh, children that may not have drama in the schools, and most of the elementary schools don't, yeah. and very mm -hmm. few middle schools Even do. Some middle schools, yeah. uh, but uh, we had uh, Mike uh, Void Voidvich. Uh, Voidvich. Voidvich. I've mastered uh, it. I have not. Yeah. Uh, but, and he does the, the the Broadway Bound, which is a mm -hmm. nice next step. Yes. Um, yes. So Carrie Ann, uh, Carrie Ann destroys him first. Then <laughs> Mike. Then Mikey gets to uh, uh, ruin him some more, and then Michael gets him later, and then you know. Then they become, you know, regular actors, and, and they, they become, become bitter and jaded. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, uh, it, it's 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 wonderful because uh, there there is always uh, a a way that these things find themselves into the community. Uh, you know, bureaucrats want to take them out of education because they don't find them valuable. And mm -hmm. I know I'm generalizing because there's a lot of bureaucrats out there who are like, I have to. You know, it's a matter of do we keep books that are 60 years old. And, and keep drama, or do we modernize the classroom with computers and mm -hmm. pay our teachers more? And we have to get rid of some of these. I get it. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. I don't like it, but what I do like is that um, people such as yourself, Mikey. And I'm sorry it's taken us so long for, for us to get you in here. But you know, Eric wasn't here. You know, because he wasn't here, I had to say. Uh, <laughs> Eric, Eric, Eric has been trying to keep you out of here for oh, so long. Eric. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, it, and again, if you're just tuning in, we're talking with Mikey Phillips, uh, with one of the teachers over at Drama Kids. Uh, some of the things that they uh, deal with their speaking skills, uh, intro to acting, uh, trust building exercises, uh, and then obviously they deal with the aspects of theater, with building character, um, theater literacy, I guess is a good way to put we, it. Actually, we are considered a um, literacy enrichment program Very good. by the district. That fantastic. That's um, awesome. Well, and the fact that you guys are working with um, uh, 21st century, 21st century, right. and uh, after school all stars. Yeah, uh, that's that's great. That the that the district recognizes your value and uh, allows you guys to incorporate. Uh, and and uh, so, uh, class sizes. You know, what do you guys look at? Like 10, 15, between 10. We and 15 try to go. Or? We actually try to go in between 15 and 15 and 20. Okay. is where we try to be. Um, uh, well, that's with our elementary. Um, our acting academy can be a little larger. Um, and then, of course, our younger ones, we try to keep it between 8 and 12 okay. for the for the kinder kids, because obviously you get a lot of itty bitties in one room, and with a that lot can of be energy. Fun. With a lot of energy. And, 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 and is it just yourself, <laughs> or, or do you end up uh, with other people? Do you have people come in? Um, 
because I've done that in the past where, uh, because of my background in improvisation, I've, mm -hmm. I've taught classes for the Nevada Thespian Society. Um, Clark County School District, I've gone in and taught classes at different times. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have people that come in and, and do stuff with you guys as well, or you can't do that because they have Yeah, it's all that corporate uh, franchise uh, stuff. Um, but however, if you, you know, with our acting academy, do we have a little bit of freedom, and, you know, it's definitely something that we would love to talk with you about, Glenn. Okay. <laughs> I, I, have a crim I have a criminal background. Oh, so. So I'm proud about that. <laughs> no. I, I actually I don't, but I'm it hoping. I'm, I'm, drop I'm, tattoo. I'm, I'm, hope, I'm, hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping to have a, a criminal background soon. Uh, what? You know, your, your acting resume and all the characters that you've played are gonna—they're gonna nix you immediately. Like, oh no, he's been all these creepy. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, and that's and I'm playing the drill instructor for Blexi Blues, and he's a psychopath as well. Of so. course he is. But man. but well, only, only <laughs> because dentist. only because he has a steel plate in his head, and he was wounded, not because he's you know likes boys in barracks. Uh, my favorite, my favorite Glenn role was when I went and saw Rocky Horror at midnight. <laughs> 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 I don't think Glenn was actually there that night. <laughs> I mean, he was he was there. He was really in character. Uh, <laughs> so in character. I, I think we that all was. Were. I think that was. Uh, that was the the very last show, the mid, uh, Halloween. Yeah. I mean, uh, Liz, Liz and Carrie Ann were there as well. <laughs> that was a night. Least, I was there. That was the night I think I think my pants actually I did come off on stage. <laughs> yeah, I um, I remember. But no, I, it, you know, that show was a lot of fun. Um, I, that's one of the few shows that I hope I get to do again. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was, uh, Joe Hines uh, allowed me one night, I said, hey, I'm going to actually drink on stage. And he's like, go for it. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Yeah, that night I drank before the show, during the first <laughs> show, in between shows, and during the last <laughs> show. So by, time, by the time Midnight Halloween uh, came around, and this is what? Your three, monologues three years went ago? on a while. Years? <laughs> two years ago. Two years two ago. Years ago. Um, oh, wow. Um, good time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, kids, if you're listening... Uh, <laughs> Why does that keep happening? Because we're we're adult degenerates. Because um, <laughs> well, we don't have Eric Ball. Uh, yeah, Eric. Yeah, Eric He's is usually. He's us. Dad on. isn't here. Dad isn't here, and he left the kids Sorry. home alone to party. I don't have any Bob Seger to go. Um, I don't know what that means. Risky business. Tom Cruise sliding across the floor. Oh, with the shirt and the. Because uh -huh. his parents left him alone. <laughs> Unlike Home Alone, you know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it, it, it's just about halfway through uh, Curtain Call, and we've got our next guest already chomping at the bit to join the fun. Trish, Trish Wade from yes. South Valley Community Theater is already chilling uh, in the back there, so uh, we're going to take another quick little break. Mikey, of course, you're welcome to hang around. Thank you. Yes, uh, if you do. like, you'll just have to share the, the microphone um, if you have anything relevant to say. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll be back in a couple of minutes, and stay tuned for more Curtain Call with Eric Ball. Eric, Eric Ball! Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Matthew Scott? Hey, Mike Scott. Hey. Mike Scott? Right. What you gonna do, Mickey Dream? Do, do you know what I can't stop doing? Warning! 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 Have you seen the recent? No, I haven't. Okay, the one that just came out on Netflix. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. When Kevin. Yes. Warning. Does there a warning signal for when he's coming? No, we don't need a warning. 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 <laughs> warning. <laughs> yeah, you know what it is for me? I can't stop talking about inappropriate things because I play Miss Carrie with the kids, but right now I'm Carrie Ann. So, like, the, um, the only the only big thing is that the headphones are. Really Do you know nice. what it is for me? I think sure that stuff's funny. Talk, talk <laughs> uh, Mikey's gonna stick around, uh, I guess. So, so there you go. That's what's gonna. Hi, you're you? Trish. Trish. Yay, I'm Carrie Ann. Hi, nice to meet you. Your Rick's wife. Yes. I was wondering the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. David. David. It's nice to finally meet you. Have yeah. you ever met David? Uh, no, I don't think so. David. Um, he was in Assassin's huge, little brat huge, huge, talented uh, little kid. One uh, of the, the families? Yeah, yeah he was the one that, he was Kara's son in, in and Assassin's. He was in, and he was, uh, yeah. he was in oh, Suzy Cole. Um, he, he, he was in the ensemble he, for Suzy Cole. He was in Sweeney, uh, he was a kid in Sweeney. In, in, the, in Glen Sweeney? In Glen Sweeney. Glenn Sweeney. Okay. It wasn't my Sweeney, I don't claim The Sweeney that Glenn was in. Okay, the Sweeney that claims Glenn. Who was Sweeney? Who was that? David Andino was David uh, Sweeney. Andino. 
It, it, was, it was more of a concert version uh, overall, but there was, there was a lot of issues with the show that I don't want to go into. I think I've heard this. Yeah. I heard that it was just a <laughs> bundle of marshmallows and gummy bears. Uh, yeah, but the gummy bears had been sitting out for a while. <laughs> They've been soaking in alcohol. Yeah. All right, one more. And we'll come back in in about 30 seconds, and we'll just have a little intro, and then I'll introduce you, and then all hell will break loose. Okay. I'm ready. Do you have, is there a website for SV? Yep, svctheater.org. I should have realized that. There it is. Is it the tree or the Theater. The tree. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is the tree. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Mikey, I didn't want to say, my favorite thing about drama kids is these cheeks, not these cheeks. You want to see these cheeks, not these cheeks. <laughs> didn't you audition to be, I mean, interview to be on drama kids? I trained. It just when it came to her. All right, welcome back. Uh, we are now entering into the Twilight Zone. Uh, second, second hour, uh, without Dad in the hot seat, uh, Eric is... Uh, he looked at the North Star, threw a little pixie dust in the, the air, and just... Star to the right. Done. I'm done. Okay. Sorry. A and uh, <laughs> is, is off on his uh, journey uh, with the... Uh, hmm. I don't even know. It, 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 go see the show. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it's, hard to, uh, it's hard to describe because Eric has taken <clears throat> um, uh, Peter Pan and he's adapted it. Um, and so uh, I don't. So it's a I, rock musical now. Uh, <laughs> you know, like you know what? Uh, it's musicals. just it's just as cool. So I don't. I don't want to give anything away. Uh, uh, but it is uh, opening um, <laughs> first week in first week in November uh, at Faith Lutheran. Um, it's in and, uh, It's, it's going to be a lot of a lot of fun. Uh, but Eric is not here, obviously, and so. Uh, Glenn gets to push all the buttons, and is pushing uh, buttons in the uh, studio today. I've been pushing Carrie Ann's buttons, and yeah, she's been have. back. You keep saying creepy things, and we're trying to do. <laughs> I have, I've said very few creepy That's things. That's true. I think he, Liz takes the creepy. Cake. Now that, yeah, that, the, creep cake. Slice it up. The frog hat on your head is creepy enough no, for me, Carrie. I've been creepy. Mm. <laughs> it's me. Do you it's, want a piece of this creep cake? And, and just. <laughs> And Carrie Ann realizes it's been her all oh, along. Uh, also joining us this week, uh, and, and just getting true into form now, it took her about a half hour, 45 minutes to just kind of loosen up and relax. Was I scared? No, you were just kind of grumpy that the it wasn't about you. <laughs> and then all of a sudden the show became about Liz and Matthews. Happy. And And it, hold on. Oh yeah, the, cam the camera's on. Uh, so there you go. Uh, and, and Mikey yes. Phillips uh, was uh, here with us and, and, and is hanging around uh, because she was actually having fun. Despite what all the Facebook posts say, this show is fun to be on. Yeah, lots of people lie about you. Yes, that's true. <laughs> they, get really, those they get really creeped out because I'm usually sitting over there where Liz is sitting and I have camera control, so when I turn the cameras off of me, I just like stare at them. <laughs> that's get, why I have the creep cake, because I'm in the creep seat. That's right. <laughs> that's right. You. Uh, <laughs> it's back to you. <laughs> you hit it. That's right. <laughs> Make it stop. Uh, well, I, I will stop it because uh, we have Ding. another guest. A new friend. A, a very new friend. Uh, someone who I've gotten to know uh, a little bit over the last couple of weeks and we'll get to know better as time moves forward. Trish Wade uh, from South Valley Community Theater. Uh, and uh, we've been talking a lot about children's theater and... Um, when I asked you to come on the show, I knew it was going to be a great, great match because uh, with Drama Kids uh, and with Carrie Ann uh, and her affection for children. <laughs> in a good way, I'm like, um, <laughs> wow. Uh, and, and so I, I wanted to bring you in, Trish, because uh, I know over the past couple of years uh, you've been building up uh, SVCT. Uh, check them out, svct.org. Much easier to spell out. Um, just as difficult to pronounce those. Yeah. <laughs> Org, um, and, and you guys, you guys have uh, been doing uh, shows over the past couple of years, primarily for for kids. So another opportunity in uh, the Las Vegas Valley area. You're primarily down in Henderson, but uh, and, and you're shaking your head. You can talk, yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and pull the mic forward so you don't have to lean in. Yeah, and, yeah. we have been uh, all youth shows since we since we started. We start we started SVC Theater in 2010. 
and um, we've only worked with kids until now, and now we're doing Biloxi Blues, which is which very is different. Completely yeah, different. You can't because Glenn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, she's she's seen me in a she's seen me in a couple of shows because uh, her husband and son uh, have shared, we've shared the stage together, so. Uh, she knew what she was getting into. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I, I think she was dragged kicking and screaming, but uh, no, no, I have not been disappointed. Uh, <laughs> but you, you guys, uh, you know, looking at the current season, you guys have a lot of great shows uh, lined up. We do, and uh, I want to do these shows. Yes. What are they? Um, there's a, a slight change in That's, one of which them, which is why I'm not, you know, yes. saying what you got. Um, we one thing we're trying to do is not um, repeat things that have been done recently. I know that a lot of companies try not to do that, so we're really trying not to. So we were we wanted to do So you're not doing hairspray? Darn. <laughs> Did well, you we're gonna do Sweeney Todd, but we're Sweeney Todd. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, actually I'd love to see a a, a children's version of Sweeney Todd. I really I wanna see if they I, did one for a competition. They did. did yeah. Uh-huh Dan Shipley? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I'd like to see so that a kids too. version. <laughs> well they did a song from it. I mean there's a song that kids can sing from it. Mm-hmm. There is anyway. One. No. There's a whole other world of the great Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm I'm looking at what your current season is, and I'm guessing which one's not going yeah. to be on. There. We're not doing Little Shop of Horrors because we did. Oh, that one's not even on here. Really? Oh, good. So uh, see, I've well, actively it, removed it and okay. didn't even realize we wanted to do it because we have a puppeteer on staff. So we thought that would be a good show to do. Avenue Q, I hear they have a children's version of. It, wasn't it just what? here too? Uh, I, I did. I did. A, Avenue Q. I did a small. I did a small production <laughs> of Avenue Q. Last. Uh, <laughs> Is it Sesame Street? Last October. Or no, it <laughs> yeah, last October, November. Yeah. Uh, I did a small production of it, but um, it was the regular one. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I would would have no problem with doing the regular one, awesome. or seeing the regular one awesome. for that matter. <laughs> I'll but let you so, borrow my copy. So we're we're. Throwing around the idea of doing Pippin. Okay. Has it been done recently? Uh, no, no, but there are uh, other companies but talking you, but about you will, it. But so. you will get you will get Eric to dress in later hose and, and pretend hey, to be a child uh, for that one. Okay. So if you're going to do it, favorites. get the rights quick. Okay. I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, get the rights. <laughs> wait, wait. You got to you got to do that. You got to do that. This has been the night of hand gesture, <laughs> gestures. Uh, so Trish, if you've got any great hand gestures, because uh, we've all been throwing them out, I've been. I don't know. It's your fault, Carrie. Yeah, it's, it's, I started. <laughs> yeah, the chicken dance. It's, and <laughs> it's definitely the frog, uh, the thug. So, uh, Trish, uh, did you guys do uh, Putnam County Spelling Bee? No. No. Well, hmm. well I'm, I'm looking at uh, current season. Is and it, it South or S V C Theater spelled uh, out dot? No. Okay, that's the problem. It's S V C T dot org. <laughs> So, I didn't even know that was taken, that domain. So, so wait, another theater company has the same... <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy! All right, so, uh, well, South get, Carolina uh, Valley uh, give it, Give it to me South properly, uh, Trish, because... Um, okay. Is it all spelled out? South Valley? No. S-V-C-T-H-E-A-T-R-E dot org. Okay, well, it's... It's coming up. It's coming up with an error because oh, um, I was like, "Man, you guys got some great shows coming up." <laughs> so what do you say? <laughs> that theater company does that. Uh, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Because I was gonna say, your guys's website changed too. So. Did you put in the www dot? Http It is. It is. It is. S S V C Theatre. Uh, spelled out uh, pretentiously, um, <laughs> as all good theaters are, uh, and um, so uh, go back and uh, let us know what okay. your your season is. So yeah. we're hoping to pip in around Valentine's Day, that that general time period, and then followed by an original work, which I can't announce yet because we Hasn't haven't finalized yet. it yet. Oh. <laughs> um, but when we do, that one I think will be a lot of fun. A, a and local, that one, local author or uh, uh, no, an author from Chicago. I wish we could go local, but we just don't have the connections yet, so... You will. Because yeah. they all listen to Curtain Call. Awesome. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, and then, and we'd like to do at least one original work a year. Okay. And then, um, in July and August, we want to do Charlotte's Web. Cute. Not the okay. musical. No. We want to do a straight show with kids. Okay. 
all kids, kids cast. Still cute then, yes. 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 <laughs> and, and, and Biloxi Blues is your first real right. endeavor into the adult. Yes. And, and, and a lot of it, uh, I've, been, I've been talking of it as a, a benefit primarily for the Veterans it is, Administration. Yes. It's, uh, we're opening November 9th and we run 9th and 10th, short one weekend run. Yeah. And a portion of our ticket sales will go to the Southern Nevada Blinded Veterans Regional Group. And in addition to that, we're donating our costumes when we're done to Veterans Village. And um, we're trying to set up a, a sort of fun day where Veterans Village residents will get free haircuts too. So. And, and, and you've got uh, a, a page on your website. And again, that's uh, SV Theater, T H E A T R E. S V C. Yeah, theater. S V C. Because uh, otherwise, you get a completely different theater page, which also, I'm sure it's. Mm -hmm. be, Whatever. The guy uh, season. Uh, <laughs> well, it was no, uh, no. They actually had a horrible season in comparison. Um, but uh, there are ways to uh, donate, um, and so from the uh, you're doing a membership drive from now through November first. Yes, and, and we love members. Members, yeah. have, members are really important for community theaters because without members, we can't get money from foundations because we don't have uh, any basis to show support, that we sure. have support from the community. Also, our members get to be a voice, so they get to help decide what shows we do. Oh, um, so uh, kind of like a, a, the board. Right. Um, so the, there will be a board, but we'll have an annual membership meeting where, where we will give people the choices for the season, and people can vote on great. what we do. So. And, and you're planning on doing more adult shows <laughs> based uh, on whether this one is successful or not. <laughs> yeah, the pressure's on. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious. You've done all kids shows. What made you decide to venture into adult? We never she wanted meant to work with me. To <laughs> we we never meant to. <laughs> I ding myself. <laughs> we never meant to do just kids shows. It was just an easy way to get going because um, there's so many kids that need something to do, and so uh, we, we started out that way while we were getting kind of established and getting our nonprofit, which took forever, and. Um, but our bylaws state that we'll do one, at least one uh, youth production a year. That's just kids. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean we won't do like Music Man or you know a show that has a With bunch of kids in it. Okay. Audition, so yeah. And our shows are not tuition based at all. It's all audition based. So um, they'll be properly funded, just like a regular show would be, but with kids in it. Cool. If you're just tuning in, you've missed oh oh well over an hour of very entertaining radio. <laughs> Uh, speaking right now with us is Trish Wade uh, with uh, South Valley Community Theater, based in Henderson, but um, uh, getting geared up for production of Biloxi Blues. And, and we were talking about the uh, the membership drive that you got going on right now. And this is not public radio, uh, but uh, <laughs> money money makes the world go round, and a good quality theater requires some money. And all of us sitting here know that. Uh, if you've ever gone to see a production that had no money behind it, uh, you, you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, you could. Uh, and, and unless it was, you know, some uh, dance recital in which they all wore sweatpants. I don't know. Uh, but I wore yoga pants. You may be okay, wearing really sweatpants. Did I forget to mention that? Oh no! Oh. Did I, well, I'm not no, even wearing I'm pants. So. <laughs> uh, and now, now, uh, member membership uh, is going on from now to November first, and uh, information can be found uh, at your website svtheater. Dot org SBC <laughs> theater I'm sorry SBC <laughs> just the letters theater spelled out R E dot com uh, org dude org oh my god well you know you what say uh, the website uh, 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 <laughs> you know what it actually it actually it actually comes out dot webs dot com yes, oh, okay. okay you're yeah. at it. Okay. yes okay so uh, so <laughs> or you can just Google it <laughs> it'll yes. take you there and it's SBC theater <laughs> South Valley Community Theater in Las Vegas, Henderson, not South uh, Vietnam uh, or wherever the other. <laughs> South Vietnam. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't they're say. Doing they're doing spelling <laughs> shows. And they're doing. And they're. they're the, the Vietnam group's doing uh, Fiddler, which you know, great. Um, so uh, that's funny uh, to me. <laughs> Uh, Fibber, oh, no, no, that was rude. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. Yeah, I'm just going to turn, turn yours off. Just there, there it goes. <laughs> Uh, you, you've got a number of uh, different ways uh, to sponsor uh, upcoming productions. Uh, there's obviously uh, sponsorships to get advertisements in uh, the programs uh, and uh, different ranges uh, for that. But uh, the memberships, um, 
uh, come with subscriptions to the quarterly newspapers, tickets to productions, um, credits in uh, the playbills, and uh, various other swag. Yeah, uh, T-shirts, bumper get stickers. Two free tickets to every, every show. show for the whole season. Here, 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 here's, oh, here's, yes. here, here's, awesome. why, here's why this is a good deal, folks. Um, Sweeney Ton is, is how much? 20 bucks? Uh, $20 pre-sale, $25 at the door. Now, now if you had uh, gone and done uh, their um, Indiegogo. Indiegogo and donated 25 bucks, you would have gotten one ticket to every show for the entire what? season. I wish so, I did that. Yeah, uh, I wish I had too. Is it too late? Why isn't there a radio show and that advertises And if you would have donated this? like $5,000, you would have had a walk-on role in the show. Yeah. Not even kidding. No. <laughs> I don't have $5,000 to pay and, my bill. And I'll tell you what, I, I, I didn't make the, the cast list, uh, so I ain't paying for it. Did you, have, did you audition? Uh, I, uh, yes, and um, uh, I will simply say that I was going to be out of town during the last week, so uh, I'm sure that was Aww. a... Conflict. Yeah. Uh, regardless, we're not talking about me or Liz. We're talking. Well, there's nothing left to talk we're about. Talking, we're, talk we're talking about like SV Quinn. South Valley Community Theater, and they're doing a show that I'm in. Um, I want to talk about the show because I ain't yeah. never heard of it. I ain't never. I ain't never. I ain't never. The Biloxi Blues? Uh huh. No. Yes. Yeah, please. they're they're very. It's a very young crowd here. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, Biloxi Blues is written by Neil Simon. So I hear. It is wonderful. Right. Do you know um, who Neil Simon is? I know I've heard of a couple. Yes. Which are very mm -hmm. prominent ones. This yeah, is it's course. a comedic drama. Takes place in World War Two during World War II, and it's about a group of guys that are going to boot camp, and their sergeant is psycho. Did you hear that? Everyone, <laughs> Just Everyone points psycho. to me, that's right. <laughs> it's really a coming-of-age story about guys, you know, oh. um, that are going to war, and... World War II coming of age. Mikey's like, I just, really? <laughs> I just love that phrase. It's a coming of age story. It's it's awesome. So it's like Stand By Me and World they, War II. They start as boys and they leave as men. Oh, that's oh. deep. That's a, tag, that's a tagline for every one of my favorite movies. I love that. I'm sure it is, Glenn. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's very funny, and it it hits on a lot of really important points that are that are important even today. So yeah, it's a great show. Yeah, it, it, and it's, it's a comedy. It's a dramedy. It's a, a comedic drama. It's Neil Simon, so there's a lot of everything. I want to come in it. see it. Mm -hmm. um, it. My very first show was a, a Neil Simon production. A, a, I did a production of Rumors a number of years back, mm -hmm. and I had I the I had the five thousand dollar walk on role. <laughs> I played a character called Officer Pudney, and he comes in. He has one line, and then stands there. As Is it about <laughs> saving daily chairs? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Shave, Call back. Shaving. Whatever. Shaving daily chairs. Um, <laughs> shaving. But uh, again. Um, Trish, well, you've got uh, a lot of opportunities for uh, individuals to uh, get productions up and running, and a uh, lot, a lot of stuff. Um, e even a referral program for uh, for members, and um, it, it's good. Uh, and, and just looking at the fact that you know, with the twenty five dollar membership donation, you're getting two tickets <coughs> to every production. Um, it's that's a steal. yeah. Um, well, that's and, unheard of. Well, and it, and the nice thing is, is you know. Ticket, tickets are easy enough, you know, to give, mm -hmm. um, and, and but people don't always consider the fact that you know shows. A lot, of, a lot of times, theaters have such a hard time getting started because you need money to put a production up to make money to fund the next production to the and and it's it's a long, arduous process, and you have to really be passionate about what you do. Uh, and and you guys started again um, with doing the children's programs, and primarily. Um, because you have children of your own and you wanted something for them to be able to do, which... Yeah, that's exactly right. We yeah. couldn't find anything that was within reasonable driving distance when we moved here. Oh, come on, <laughs> Super Summer Theater. It's, it's just a hop, skip, just and a jump. <laughs> and after complaining about it for about a year, um, enough people said, why don't you just start a company? Why don't you just start a company? And I heard enough times, I was like, okay, let's get some people together and start a company. So, <laughs> so here we are. And I'm a very, once I make up my mind, you know, it's... There's no going back, so, and I'm very persistent. Yep. <laughs> so uh, we've been very lucky. We got a grant to do Biloxi Blues, so um, we're in a position where we can give tickets away. In fact, one of our goals is to give 150 tickets away to veterans. That's right. So uh, businesses, if you want to support that goal, 
um, we're, we're kind of leaving it up to local businesses to donate and then help us give these tickets away. And, and you've, you've actually got uh, a little, uh, uh, some other businesses to donate some of their services because yes. you're abusing our, the, the cast uh, on, on November 2nd. Now, uh, what are you, uh, I know what's going to happen. Uh, what's going to happen? I <laughs> give it, give us a, because this, this is actually fun, and, and I don't know if there's going to be, I mean, radio, love it, uh, it's hard to do live remotes from uh, this radio station, but uh, any, any live broadcast? Of? Yeah, we have uh, one lined up, a radio station, hopefully. Not this one. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but it's, uh, you know, a lot of the guys in our cast have these lovely long locks. And they're playing. This is lovely. lovely. Ooh, flowing in the, the breeze. I have, I have not cut my hair since uh, <laughs> last October, so this is one year. Ladies so, are jealous. So Glenn is getting his annual haircut. <laughs> 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 so they have to shave their hair down really short, crew cuts, because they're playing privates in the army. And so we thought it'd be fun to make an event out of this. <laughs> He's a sergeant, but he still has to have a haircut. And so, um, so we have had some great people volunteer their services to provide haircuts, not only to our cats, but to all the residents to of the village. To shave the privates. So Aww. we're arranging a, a date. I think I believe we have the date. Um, and I think we're going to try and actually do it at Veterans Village. Oh, very so, cool. Yeah. And so um, they don't have to try and, we don't have to try and get them somewhere. Um, it'll be easy for them. Yeah, all you gotta do is bring some clippers. Yeah. Zoom it down. <laughs> so I think it'll be fun. We're hoping to get some media there. Get get a little buzz going about the show and about yeah. buzz. Well, buzz. Yeah. well and, and I'm glad I'm glad I didn't cut my hair because that was actually a thought I had. I was like, ah, oh, what a great uh, way for the cast to build some camaraderie. I was gonna bring in my clippers. And let them and shave your head. Yep. <laughs> oh, I was actually gonna let Chris Mays do it uh, last week on the show. Uh, but he was not here, and I didn't think it appropriate for Miss Lovett or uh, or Troy. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> I, was gonna have I was gonna have Sweeney Todd shave my head. Yes, yeah, I get it. And 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 the ho and, the ho and, and and you know the joke was gonna be because uh, you know even even Eric and I were talking about. It. I was like, oh, he could pretend to cut your throat on the radio. And it's like, well, he won't be pretending to do that. But yeah, we'll try that. <laughs> uh, and then uh, you know have uh, Miss Lovett rush me or Eric to the hospital, whichever. And then uh, come back uh, without me and having brought some meat pies. Gross. All great visual stuff for radio. <laughs> uh, but uh, again, you know, we uh, we record this every week, so uh, all of our archives. If you're just a brand new fan, because uh, we've just gotten up to 200 likes. Hey. Uh, even though like Ashton Kutcher got like two million in one day, we're up to 200 for Curtain Call. And all of our Let's bring Ashton on the show. He's he's welcome. I've, I, he's got an open invitation. Um, all of our shows are archived and up on YouTube, so you can look up Curtain Call with Eric Ball on YouTube, and you can find uh, every episode. Um, and most of them have video. There's a few that don't because I didn't have cameras at the time, but now I've just got like awesome two camera okay. setup. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I didn't know we, that we were doing a thing there. <laughs> I just had a gesture. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and eventually, maybe I'll even have a third camera set up, so you know we can we can really be uh, everyone high, can have their own high production. Camera. Yeah, that'd be awesome. For <laughs> oh yeah, just put it right there. <laughs> she, she's had her turn it to me. She's had her, her phone out the whole time. Oh, you the, know I have. The camera just going look at me, look at me. I mean, with a face like this, why wouldn't you want to look at it all the time? I would. Yeah. I do. I have. <laughs> I, 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 I have been for the last hour and a half. Um, Trish, you guys got kidding. you guys got started again primarily for the kids, uh, and um, uh, like I said, uh, I've had the pleasure of working with both your husband and your son. Mm -hmm. uh, and you guys um, do other things than theater. You have the improv in the park, uh, which improv is near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. I'm not a child, so this really ticks me off. <laughs> but uh, give us a, give us a little bit about this because. Um, Improv is a tough thing. Kids are better at it than adults because it's more natural in play. Um, but they also don't have the reference points uh, as a lot of adults do. Yeah. You get a lot of the same themes over and over when you work with kids in improv. Uh, yeah. Um, but this has evolved over time. It started as a um, 
just something fun for my oldest son to do with his friends. <laughs> and so we did this big e-bite thing. For, for you to charge <laughs> other parents. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Hey, it's, come on over for a play date. It's only 35 bucks. <laughs> it's a actually of our play <laughs> free, believe it or not. All of our, we try to keep our stuff free if we can, sure. so through sponsors and things That's like that. Awesome. But um, this program has evolved to now it's an audition only just because we can't work with tons and tons of kids. Unfortunately, we don't have the manpower for that. Um, but uh, we have a bunch of kids that are really good, and we're hoping to get going to where we can perform also, um, maybe at like First Friday or something like that, where the kids can do improv in front of a crowd. And, and get drinks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There and that there's where they gain their experiences yeah. to use in the improv. And I think that's great. Uh, anyone in, in town who's listening who knows me knows that you know I, I started into theater with improvisation, and um, we've had a few improv uh, groups, um, but uh, there really isn't anything for kids other than you know uh, drama kids uh, and the high schools. A lot of the high schools in the area have um, teams, uh, and we had uh, Kopi on a couple of weeks ago, and he does a program. He has a, a group uh, called Just Serendipity. I've been many times. Yeah. Uh, and, and he has his um, high school jesters, um, which he's been doing for a number of years. So um, it's good to see um, the opportunities for kids, because it, 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 people people poo-poo on improv, but... Uh, it's a great skill. And it's not easy. And yeah, there, no, it's extremely There's actually, the, the Improv in the Park is, we call it a workshop series. Because um, they are learning how to do improv. There's rules that, that are important. and um, you, you, Yes. And, and people are like, well, what do you need to rehearse improv for? You're just making everything in me. No, you're, you're telling stories on the spot. I, and and it's not, it doesn't come easy. So you have to have rules. And you get a lot of the, with kids, they start out, you know, someone says something and they respond, yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's nowhere to go with that. <laughs> it's yes, what do we do with I, this? I've, yes, I've, always, and. Exactly. I've yes, always found and. that kids are very good at the questions game. Oh, yeah. Once they know what they're doing, they're amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, we're going to take another quick little break, hopefully the last one for uh, the evening, because uh, we've been just trucking along. Having a grand old time. Uh, the ladies in the house. Uh, we're currently talking with Trish Wade with uh, South Valley Community Theater, upcoming production of Biloxi Blues, and maybe uh, we've got some other productions in the works that we can talk about when we come back from break. You're listening to Curtain Call this week without Eric Ball, but it's still his show. Hey, Do you like my light show? Wow! Yeah, that's that? exciting. Really? That's my text right. message. <laughs> I went to a party one time and someone took my phone and like they had had this like light things going on and I was like, oh, Are you doing know, your own do private this? rave over there? <laughs> <laughs> how did it do that? And they were like, oh, let me send it up on your phone. Now I don't know how to turn it off. So is that I'm going to rave on my phone. Alert for yeah, when deaf folk? No, it's even when it's when the sound is on, it'll still do the lights. No, but probably. Yeah. That would work. How do I make it happen? Message. I, want, I, want I don't know. I don't know how to turn it off. It's a touch. It's a touch screen. Oh, nice. I mean, my, I, have a, I have a big computer at home. What but this improv groups are there for adults? Uh, most of it is through. Uh, uh, Vegas Dash Improv over at the Onyx Theater Monday nights. They have set. They have yeah, yeah. Uh, and they do classes uh, regularly. How is it? I was thinking about going. I haven't been in a while. Um, it's not since the show I hosted um, the, after Free Beer because uh, I had my improv show that I did weekly. Right, yeah, I remember. Um, so I haven't been because I've been in shows, but it's a lot of fun. Um, it's different. Um, okay. It's, well, it's less of the short form and more of the long form. Um, and, and it was originally... Um, look at Fix Dad. It, it was originally designed for the students because the second city was in town, and so that was the place for the students to perform. And now, since there's fewer students, they do a drop-in class. So there's like a, um, from six, six to, to eight, six to eight, eight and, and then they have that's a show. good place to play. On Monday. Mondays. Monday. Let's go. And it's just a drop-in, so uh, it's ten bucks tomorrow. It's Monday. It's ten bucks. You show up at six, oh, and, and, and normally the ticket to the show is seven bucks. So. You're getting a two-hour workshop for three bucks. 
plus yeah. your ticket to the show. So it's it's great. Do you um, have to be in the show? No, after? no. Okay. Um, but you can, can be. You there's can. there's some there's so most of, most of the time they have troops that are performing. Um, but every once, in a while, every once in a while they will. If if you did the workshop and you want to be in uh, the show later on. Um, yeah, they they I I seen the show one time and they like have opportunities where you can go up and play games and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, they have they have some of the who's line is it anyway stuff. Thingy. Mine mine was all audience participation. Uh, and if the audience was light, that's where it became difficult. Theirs they have troops perform and if you do the workshop um, or the drop in class uh, you can have your name thrown in, and you can be like a, a guest player. So, in the class, do they teach you the skills and then do the activities? They give, with, yes, with the exercise. Learn? Yeah, there's. Okay, because I find when it comes to yeah, improv, I go. Ooh, 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 I do too. I don't come up with words. I say things like Your staging. Words don't, I thought of staging <laughs> stuff after the fact. Oh like, yeah. I wish I could have said. Coming back. And welcome back. Uh, we're drawing into the last half hour of uh, another wonderful evening. Uh, I've had the pleasure of spending it with some friends, old and new. And uh, Carrie Ann, it's good to see you back uh, I'm happy here to be in back. the theater. Or theater. In the theater world. In the theater. <laughs> the theater, the theater. Uh, back in the uh, studio. Um, Carrie Ann Parks uh, hosting with me today. Uh, and guest hosting, uh, especially uh, our, our special. Especially, <laughs> oh, we have a guest. We have a guest host, and she is special. Uh, Liz, Liz Matthews uh, in the Hizzle. Uh, uh, in the Hizzle us. for Rizzles. Yeah, playing with her jewelry again. Sorry, I'll put it in. Thank you. <laughs> it makes my board go spiky. I don't, it just, I don't mean all to. The, all I the just needles just go problem. all the way over, and it just. It hurts. It really does. I don't uh, want to hurt you. I mean, it's too late. Uh, <laughs> More important. Hold on. I hate radio silence, but... I'm crying. All right. Uh, Mikey Phillips uh, stuck it out uh, and decided to uh, stay uh, for the second hour, hour just to see what else could possibly come out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, and, and we had a very lovely discussion uh uh, talking about the Drama Kids International program that's available for kids here in Las Vegas, ages 3 to 17, 18, dramakids.com uh, for more information if you just happen to be tuning in. If you are, you've missed an hour and a half so far of wonderful, uh, fun times. Uh, but again, all of our shows are archived on YouTube, so you can catch this one in its entirety, even with what we say during commercial break. Dun, dun, dun. And you have no idea what goes on when you're listening to... Oh, wait, really? None. None. Yeah, it's been recording the whole time. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Don't worry, I've, I've been censoring you. So, so if you're listening live, <laughs> if you're listening live, you get to hear the commercials me. for Deja Vu. <laughs> <laughs> but, if, but if you're not listening live and you're listening to uh, or watching uh, the YouTube recordings, you get to hear all the... Uh, Fanter. Yes. Uh, the Jabba Jabs. And, and, and sometimes it gets a little randy in here. Just saying that so you watch. Um, <laughs> this the second hour we've been uh, uh, hour. Hour. <laughs> so that's what happened to me last night for Warhouse. Whorehouse. <laughs> Just uh, yeah, Warhorse. Oh my god, best little Warhorse in Texas. <laughs> I love it. Uh, it was horrible too. It that's just, right. It, the I hate that because you know it was the first it's time, first time being on stage for that character and just bunting. Not knocking it out of the park. I mean, using a sports reference. <laughs> you know what? You probably nailed it on it's every when other you take line. The band and go like this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I I bunted. <laughs> you know. I bunted down the first <laughs> baseline so and, and got tagged out. Uh, Trish Wade is uh, sitting here laughing and, and enjoying herself. Hopefully, uh, Trish Wade. Uh, what is your official title? I am the artistic director. Okay, uh, Trish Wade, uh, the artistic director for South Valley Community. Because I say so. <laughs> I was going to say, you can call yourself the, em yeah. the Empress of yeah. South Valley Community <laughs> Theater. I like that. It the, does. The Duchess. We also have Wendy Lux as our managing director, and Ann Adams is our education director, and I wanted to have her come on today because 
you're talking about youth theater. Yeah. And she couldn't because she had to work, but she did want me to pass on a message. Uh-oh. Okay. Yes, she, she just wanted to express, in her opinion, the most important thing about youth theater. Which kids. Is, <laughs> kids. <laughs> <laughs> she, she will say it a lot better than I will, but basically the um, independence that kids gain from, from doing theater programs. And the fact that you, they spend their lives being told what to do all day long at school, at home, kind of held by the hand, where to go. Mm -hmm. But when they have to step out on stage and that curtain goes up, there is no one that can make them do what they're about to do. That's true. Even though they've been told where to stand, what to say, yes. and how to do it. Yeah. But once the curtain goes up, yeah, it's, it's up to them to and, and that's, at that point. And that's, and that's something that uh, I, I love. Uh, a lot of directors in this town, um, you know, they, they're like, you know what, when the curtain goes up, I'm done. I can't do anything more. Um, the show is yours. Um, and so, yeah, uh, it's it's a very, very well stated point. You you said it just fine, Trish. And, and you've got a lot of people in the room that uh, believe that same thing. And it is, as parents, you and I understand uh, what children need for that encouragement. And sometimes it takes somebody other than the parent. Um, I wish some parents realized that it also takes the parent. Um, <laughs> But uh, and and Mikey certainly can attest to the same thing uh, because you know it's not the performance it's the costume. I, I, it's experience. I don't know what you what you what you the drama can. We build confidence, not show. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, and on that note, because I'm not a parent, I work with the kids, but I was once a child. No. And yes, Glenn. You're too tall. I know. And that, thank you for saying that because that is what theater did for me. I made was you grow. <laughs> Yes, I was short. I did a show, and then suddenly I was six feet tall. Okay, so why is Jamie, why is Jamie still so short then? Well, because that's what theater did to her. Yeah, oh. it had the <laughs> love you, Jamie. Even though you're probably still in California, she took the blue and pill listening. instead of the red. I took red. No, but I was awkward and uncomfortable. And guess what? I love theater, but I'm not gonna get to be the ingenue in school because I'm a foot and a half taller than all of the boys. And so doing shows helped me learn that there is a part for everyone. Mm -hmm. there, there's a part for a giant six-foot woman, too. But it helps you become comfortable in your skin. And, and, and learn how to laugh at it. And yes! Because this is funny looking, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> and we got that on camera. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, Trish, um, what, what else uh, is, is coming up? Um, talked about hmm. a couple of sh possible shows. Pippin is one that may be coming up. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Because uh, I, I, I can I can read the website, but um, you, you've done you've done shows. Let's get the uh, again, this is second second year. This is our. Well, we started two thousand ten. Okay. So it's our third year. Okay, third season. Okay. Um, you could say that. <laughs> so uh, if somebody were interested in upcoming productions, uh, obviously they can go to the website. But is there anything coming up that maybe somebody can look and budget their time a little bit and go ooh. I'm interested in that. Well, we're going to be having a membership event on November 3rd, okay. which is not open just to members. Anyone can go, but I don't have the details on that yet. So okay. watch the website, and um, hopefully it will be fun. Okay. It's more kind of a meet and greet kind of thing, and um, get people familiar with each other. And, and, and if you're listening uh, down in Henderson, this is uh, great for, um, for you guys down there for... Uh, the Henderson area. Obviously, it, this is not limited to that area, but you created this because there was that need uh, in in Henderson. Yeah, we we came from Salt Lake City, where there's a community theater and on every corner, on every corner, yeah, right and next not, to Starbucks. Not just an organization that performs various venues, actual buildings with the theater and a, you know wings and a house. And all that. It's because they're not allowed to drink in Salt Lake. So. <laughs> yeah, they're bored. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but, which is ironic because most theaters in Vegas, we all drink at anyway. So. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. Awesome, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's, you know, if it, it's fitting to your character, I'm drinking then right you now. Do have to do. Apple juice. <laughs> apple juice. Yes, I'm drinking apple juice. Right now. Um, so uh, those of you uh, keep up on things. Uh, S V C. Theater, T-H-E-A-T-R-E mm -hmm. dot 
org. You and did if it. you contact me through the website, I'm very good at, at um, contacting you back and figuring out a, something for you to do. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, so, and, 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 you're, and, and, you're, and you're not necessarily, you know, with the membership drive that you have going on right now, you're not looking necessarily just for money. Money is always no. nice. We can always use money, but um, sets need to be built, costumes need to be procured, heads need to be shaved. You know, there's always something that uh, a production needs. <laughs> this one in particular, Biloxi Blues, heads need to be shaved. It's just... That, and, yeah, no, it's brilliant. And I got it. And faces. Oh, that was a loud one. <laughs> uh, it was Carrion's teapot on the counter. Kind of that was reverberated. That was reverberated. No. reverberated. Um, <laughs> So, uh, what else can we talk about? I don't, so are, you a, are you a 501c3? Or? Yes, we are a 501c3. Oh, nerd talk. Um, our <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you donate, here's the thing is if you donate, you can write it off as a tax, uh, whatever. See, there you go for a nerd talk. Deduction? I just screwed a it up. A tax, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm a cool kid in a nerd's body, but, um, or the opposite. I don't know. I'm neither. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Wait. The, the, uh, the camera's on. They can see your blonde. <laughs> My blonde's showing. Um, but that's awesome. Yeah. For donations you. and not just money. If you have some costumes or a sewing machine or something that you want to donate, that is also text to donate. Even even time, um, especially with children's theater. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, children need wranglers. Uh, yes. And, and like the jeans. Yes. <laughs> that too. Jeggings for my age group. Uh, <laughs> uh, ha Wrangler jeggings. Ha having done some productions uh, in the last couple of years where lots and lots of kids were... Uh, yes, you have. Yes, I have. Like I said, <laughs> I like children. You should be around you're fired. <laughs> What's that? You're you should fired. not be around children. You, um, really you know what? My daughter is very well-rounded, living... <laughs> <laughs> About, about seventy miles away from me, <laughs> uh, and she's and she's actually getting geared up for her very first high school production. So I'm cool. Very What's proud. she doing? She's doing a production of A Man for All Seasons. Oh. And, I've um, never heard of that. Uh, it. Uh, I'm trying to remember, it's uh, King King John. It's historical. Oh, okay. Basically, um, it's about Saint Thomas More. Saint. Ah, oh, that there. Is that the guy from the Val Kilmer movie? I'm Catholic. Um, the it's Saint? about it's about Saint Thomas More worked uh, or was uh, around during Henry the Eighth. Henry the Eighth. Henry. The oh VIII. yeah, yeah. This, yeah it's, and it's a story. When Henry the Eighth wanted to yeah, tutors, reform the right? church. Saint Thomas More said no, and that he ended up becoming a martyr. Yeah, yeah Hen Henry, Henry the Eighth wanted to date uh, Pad Padme and Boleyn. Uh, Anne Boleyn. It's, it's Star Wars. He was married to Catherine of Aragon, and he wanted to marry Anne Boleyn. I'm glad you're here. I'm so no, glad it's you're stuff. here. It's not because you're Catholic, it's because you like you and McGregor. No, it's because she has a degree in art or theater, and she had to learn that at some point. It's because my boyfriend's British. <laughs> <laughs> you all win. Uh, so. So yeah, my, my daughter's got her first high school production coming up, uh, but uh, I had the pleasure of um, sharing the stage with her this summer out at uh, Super Summer, so that was a lot of fun. So, And you don't get on the stage at all, do you, Trish? No, I, I don't. You're lucky I'm here today talking on the radio. You're doing fantastic. You're, yeah, you're doing great. Uh, Thank you. you know, we had uh, Erica Griffin on um, a, a few weeks ago from Cockroach Theater, and she was hysterical because she came in with a stack of note cards. Uh, and and she just by that was uh, that was one of our late shows. I think we recorded at eleven o'clock that night, and I, I brought a nice bottle of fifteen year old scotch for, for us to enjoy. So, a couple sips of that, and she didn't need those note cards at all. So, uh, I, uh, I was building sets earlier today, and I don't know if you've ever been around when a bunch of people build sets, but I try you know. not. To, I try not to be. I, I mean, I, I'm I'm kind of pretentious when it comes to that. Um, I'm. I like my time on the stage performing, and if a director or production team asks me to do something, yeah, I'll volunteer time, but a lot of time, I'm already volunteering a lot of my time, and, and you know, you can appreciate it. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, and yeah. you're obviously volunteering uh, your time as well, uh, which is greatly appreciated. Well, I enjoy it, or I wouldn't do it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, obviously, if you weren't doing it, then um, people would be... Not performing. Aww. I mean, it's, it's, what kind of world would that be? Uh, it would be a very sad world uh, if, well, there's, if there's, there's performers no and then there's people that work on the 
other end of things. But really, my motivation, I'm, I'm just motivated simply by wanting community in the, or theater in our community. That's my motivation. That's it. I just that's awesome. and, the I community, could, and the community in your theater. Yes, exactly. And I could walk away from it right now if I knew it was going to be successful. And when it gets to that point where I know people <clears throat> have it under control and it's going to exist, then I probably will and become more of an audience than a participator. But until that happens, here I am. So no, no desires to get on stage oh, no, with no. your with your husband and son. Oh no, no, absolutely not. Maybe <laughs> <Absolutely. laughs> uh, uh, after I take it, several. No, by then I'd be passed out. If, so, no. if, if you know, <laughs> if you know Rick Wade, and and if you've met him, you know him. He's a very tall, taller than me, Im- impressive, yes. uh, and sorry, Rick, if you're listening, teddy bear of a man. Um, <laughs> Oh, he's, that's nice. He's, that's a compliment. But he's he's very imposing and could very well be intimidating. And, and sure. he looks grumpy most of the time. <laughs> so oh, he's, so like, funny. Yeah. <laughs> he's so uh, funny. Yeah, he's he's very funny, very charming, uh, very talented. Uh, I'm looking forward at some point to uh, um, him playing music uh, with with your son David because I know both of them um, play the guitar. Yeah, guitar. if you go to YouTube, you might see the two of them performing together. Uh, I'll have to do that when I'm not watching myself on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's paying now, Glenn? Oh, I'm Who's paying now? Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a blonde moment. Uh, ladies, uh, it, it has been an entirely wonderful evening uh, spending with you. And, and we've still got, you know, ten minutes uh, of time. time. Please? <laughs> a moment? Well, you know, it's, ev- it's everyone's time. time. I mean, we, we, we let Mikey talk I, for a couple minutes. Can I have the spotlight on me for a minute? Sure, absolutely. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. Guys, this is a very important topic because it has to do with something very close to my heart, which is the work that I do with children, but not necessarily on the teaching theater side, but on the nanny side. Oh. oh. Yes. Um, one of my little ones that I've been working with, uh, I was a teacher for her at Gymboree, but since she was about nine months old, and that was around the same time that she was diagnosed with a neurological disorder called NF, and the long version, I wrote this down, hold up, oh, it's on my phone, neurofibromatosis. Hmm. And it's a very rare disorder, um, it has to do with the, the brain controlling and, and knowing when tumors are growing within the body. So little nine-month-old is now three, and next Sunday, the 21st, is our second annual NF Hope concert. So it's it's based around her. They they set up a nonprofit organization called the NF Network, and uh, this is all being spearheaded by a Jersey boy, Emma's daddy, oh, okay. Jeff Lebo, who I have been employed by and a friend of for you know since I met him through his uh, daughter. You had mentioned him to me uh, earlier in the week. Yeah. 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 And you've worked with Jeff, Elizabeth. He sang at my, if he remembers, <laughs> he sang at a concert that, or a, a, a benefit that I threw for right. autism. Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to put the word out there. <laughs> Tickets are available, and I will definitely post a link on the Curtain Call website for that one. But it's, it's very special to me because this little girl is a doll. You guys stop it. I, 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 just, I just had a moment on camera. I am so sorry. That was so... So inappropriate. I'm really mad about it. <laughs> where where oh, is sorry. it? Sorry, yeah. NF. Yes, it's going to be held at Harrah's, and they do have some awesome performers mm. coming on. Uh, Taylor Hicks is going to be performing. What? Yeah, it's a big deal. <laughs> 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 sorry, listeners. Yes. Uh, he's a he, he's an American Idol winner, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then oh, um, yeah, 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 with okay. the white hair. And uh, yeah. Jeff Timmons from Dancing with the Stars, cast of Jersey Boys, is going to be daily. Is there is there is a there website? Why do I go to that? There is. You can call. Uh, oh, you can go to Ticketmaster or HarrahsLasVegas.com. How much are tickets? The tickets are. Did it? Did it? Scrolling, scrolling. Tickets. They'd be free if you donated twenty five dollars. <laughs> they start at twenty five dollars. There you go. Hey, Glenn. They're twenty five to seventy five dollars um, plus tax and service charges, and it's taking place at the main showroom at Harrah's Las Vegas next Sunday. It's an afternoon show. Starts at one p.m. Oh, awesome. that's a surprise. Yeah. Well, it's it's when the Jersey Boys are. And it's when and it's when kids are up. Go to bed at three. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, yay. So, special shout out, and of hope for Derek next Sunday. Yeah, that. That's, 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 that sounds that's awesome. Fantastic. I'll be um, there. Hug him a little doll. That's great. She's so cute. Mm-hmm. I love your videos. <laughs> Thanks. Okay.
back to no, um, you know what? No, uh, I think I think that's I think that's <laughs> fantastic, Karen. Uh, thank you for sharing that with us. Um, it's uh, it's wonderful that uh, members of the the community, especially uh, a lot of the individuals that you know are on the strip performing in shows. Um, it, we probably all know at least one person in some show, um, and, and it's always good to to hear when they reach out and, and do something for the community. Mm -hmm. uh, ob obviously, Jeff has some vested interest, uh, but uh, regardless of the fact, um, you know, it, it, it's just great to hear that that uh, sort of thing is, is going on. So. Yeah. Um, Thanks, guys. So, uh, Harris, uh, look into it, and um, wow, uh, not sure, not sure how to segue out of that. You, you, you got me stumped. Can I give a shout out to while we're at it? Please. Yeah. Um, nice. Segment. I just want to give a shout out to the Rudy Foundation, which oh, yeah. uh, purchase or mm -hmm. purchased a full page ad, which allows us to send ten veterans to Biloxi Blues. And thank the you, Rudy, Cheryl. Yes, thank you, Cheryl. She, she's, and, list, she's listening to. And me. also, shout out to Cheryl. Um, speaking of youth theater, they're they're really kind of transferring their focus over to performing arts. They've focused on um, a lot of the sports for kids, for sports programs for kids, but their focus is shifting now to performing arts. So I think we're going to see a lot come out of the Rudy Foundation also for youth theater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and uh, uh, Cheryl Rudiger um, um, of, with the Rudy Foundation. Obviously, if you've seen the movie Rudy, that's what we're talking about. Um, I love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I love sports. I love sports movies. Yeah, we didn't get to talk at all oh, about sports. Oh, I wanted sports. to talk about sports. I, you know, she I'm, explained what bunting meant. Well, I well, did explain to <laughs> Chris, 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 our, our uh, engineer has come back in the room. Uh, are, are the Giants winning or uh, oh, are yeah. the Cardinals winning? Mm -hmm. Well, that game, the Giants won. Giants won. Um, hey oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Giants! Although, although, the, although the Niners got spanked by the other Giants the, And today. the Eagles lost by a field goal. I don't, care about, I don't care That's about the team. Philadelphia. Whoa. Wait, whatever. N NFC East, I don't care about. We're going to have problems. We already got problems. <laughs> you got 99 anyway. problems? Actually, you know what? I, you know, I, I thought you talked about, I thought you talked about, we were talking about the New York Giants. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, the, uh, San Francisco. Whoa, New I, did, I just made the needle just go all the way. No, uh, <laughs> Baseball. Baseball. It's, baseball is still going on. Oh, I was talking um, about football. Yeah, no, the Giants, New York Niners. The New York Giants, uh, David Andino, uh, I hope you're gloating um, <laughs> out there in New York. Um, but they would have won three hours ago, anyways, because they would have, because it's three hours later, so the Giants already won. They already won here, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an actor. I'm not smart. Uh, Sports no, are I, aired live. I know, oh my God. I know. I'm just trying to fill time. Because <laughs> we're, 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 we got yeah, we we've got about That's five minutes. We got about five minutes left, and we can't get into any real deep conversations. Oh, and then any, let's talk about politics. And anytime, oh God, no. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure our listeners are, are inundated enough with uh, advertisements. Oh, we're so over it over here. On that side of the room, <laughs> yeah. in my head, all of us, oh, we're really over it. I'm over I'm the so Obama. this, like, yeah, just stop doing these slander ads. Sl slander is that a word? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're over it. Or splander. Splander. <laughs> splander ads. Yes. Just talk about what you can do for me, not what your opponent can't. I'm over that. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's, it's ask not what. Ask not what your opponent you. can't do for your country. <laughs> Ask what you can do for your opponent. Wait. <laughs> uh, you know, it, I, I, I'm not getting an advertising. <laughs> I, I, I will, I will uh, you know, say that uh, I, <clears throat> every four years I get to put my political science degree to some use. You have a political science degree? Yeah, and no it's one knows totally about useless. You. It's totally, well, they do now. Uh, <laughs> it, it's totally useless in the real world except to listen to people spout things that aren't true and... Uh, listening to politicians do it is even more frustrating because the the problem is, is they're all speaking oh, in half truths. No, <laughs> Glenn Heath for president. No, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm I'm I. There's there's part of me every couple of years is like you know what? I'm going to run an independent campaign. And, you might as well. Uh, and just be like you know what? I'm a person. I, I want to help fix things. For the no, people, by I have people. no Sorry. ulterior motives. No other. No, I am not forming an exploratory search committee. <clears throat> I thought we were going to talk about sports. 
one knows anything. No about one sports, knows. sports, <laughs> sports, <laughs> politics, religion. You know. Kermit the thug doesn't know. <laughs> Kermit, don't we know about sports, y'all? Is it Kermit? <laughs> it is Kermit. Oh. I haven't changed. Do that. you have a honey badger? He don't care. No. <laughs> oh, because a honey badger as part of your thug group would be. You know, I am going to bring teeny little froggies and we're going to do a jumping activity and the way I'm going to introduce the frogs is say, y'all want to meet my homies? Yeah. And then yes. I'll get the frogs oh out. <laughs> Are you posse? I'm a posse. You have You're a, frogsy? Do you have a, a, a socially acceptable Bert and Ernie character? Oh. Not yet. Not yet, no. I saw a Halloween costume. Um, it, it was like a list of the worst sexy costumes for Halloween. Oh, no. And it was a sexy Bert, sexy Ernie. Oh, and there were women dressed up in <gasps> Burton Ernie costumes and they just had these like little tiny plastic hats to represent oh, no, you know the Burton Halloween carry on. Uh, uh, oh oh uh, oh. Uh, Burt Ernie? That would be so Yeah. Funny. <laughs> I'm glad I said something. Yay. <laughs> uh, Flirt and I don't know, I couldn't think of something for yearning. <laughs> yearning. Flirt and yearning. <laughs> Odd. Uh, I, 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 I want to. I want to spend the last couple of minutes uh, thanking uh, both Mikey Phillips and Trish Wade for coming in today. Yay, Mikey and Trish. Of course. Uh, Mikey. No problem. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, Trish. Because uh, I think we have rehearsal some point tomorrow. I think so. I hope so. Don't ask me where. I won't. But somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> if you have space to donate, see you know. Any, there you go. There you go. Oh, theaters always need a place to rehearse too, because that that's an expensive part of the you know, process. I'm more than happy to pay for that, but the problem is we need somewhere we can leave our set because you guys have to work with it. Um, and and we can't leave I don't, the studio. I don't have to work oh, with no, it. Oh no, you? Oh yeah, you don't. That's no. right. <laughs> I always get these nice roles where I don't have to do all these. I just have to be a jerk. <laughs> and that's so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trish with the uh, South Valley Community Theater. Uh, SVC Theater with the RE, the theater part spelled out, dot org. Uh, Mikey Phillips with Drama Kids. Uh, both uh, of you do, are doing some wonderful things in the community uh, for our youngsters. Uh, Carrie Ann also, you know, but uh, the show's not about you. It's not about me, it's about Elizabeth Matthews. Oh, right. Thank you. Wait, wait. <laughs> I've been waiting for it to come back to go. me for a while now. <laughs> Thank you. We'll, we'll you. We'll put the camera back on Liz so she can breathe into the camera as I'm talking to the... No. <laughs> the real show's over here. <laughs> go, yeah, there you go. Liz. Um, it's been a very, so very mean. fun, uh, wonderful evening. Uh, we're going to start wrapping things up. Uh, I said a ribbit, a ribbit, yeah. a ribbity rip, rip. I'm rapping what? A ribbity rap to the beat. Rip it. Yeah. Rip it. Rip it. Rip it good. Rip it good. Uh, any, any, uh, <laughs> it, we'll, we'll take this last moment for uh, any uh, self promos of anything. Liz, you got anything? Uh, oh, I've got no projects. So Liz is available <laughs> for some no, projects. Cast me and pay for it. <laughs> Ayo. I'm poor. <laughs> Just, just back from her Grand Canyon tour. <laughs> you did not get cameras. All Sorry, over camera people. Uh, Mikey, uh, nothing, nothing coming up for you either. Just drama kids. Just drama kids. Just drama kids. Hey, Busy. Will, will you take anything for being paid? I mean, oh yeah. Okay. Well, great. not. I mean, not anything. I, I have you, 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 you and Liz will not be up for the same roles. Nope, I don't have standards. <laughs> I will come up with Sesame Street characters for both of you. Awesome. Great. Right. Are you gonna pay us? Yeah. Obviously, your standards aren't too high. Uh, Trish, anything, uh, anything else other than Biloxi Blues? Obviously, we want to get people uh, to come to the website, look mm -hmm. at the membership yep. uh, drive if that you, you have going on. If you go to our Facebook page and like it, you have a few minutes to possibly win a membership. Ooh. Ooh. So go to our Facebook page, SVC Theater, and like it. And then you have to go to the Curtain Call Facebook page and like, like that. that. And then you have to post something about the show. Oh, uh, awesome. Uh, do that because your odds are way better than winning anything at McDonald's. Um, One in four wins. Yeah, you win like a fry or... I got a quarter pounder with cheese coupons in my teapot right now. Awesome. I'm going to, we're going to McDonald's. I don't need that. I'll... You can watch me eat my quarter pounder. And <laughs> at McDonald's, you're welcome for the free publicity. Uh, that's it for this week. Uh, next week, tune in. Eric may be back. Eric may not be back. Uh, but for him and for Carrie Ann, Liz, and Mikey and Trish, thank you very much for tuning in tonight to Curtain Call with Eric Ball. Ow. Alrighty. Bow. 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 Bow.
All right, camera's going on, folks. Say goodbye. Goodbye, all my people.